Welcome back. Uh, session two, Fiendish Forge. Uh, briefest of recaps, because I want to get into the game for you guys. Uh, you guys have just went, uh, finished your first hunt. You slayed the noble manticore. You've brought it back to base so that uh, its parts can further be harvested to assist the, uh, the hunting guild. You guys managed to do some nice gathering yourself. But all in all, a very successful hunt for you guys. Um, as said before, you have to accomplish uh, three of these hunts before you can take on the prime mark. And then uh, you guys will uh, rank up. Uh, which does mean you will level up for those that weren't yes, able to yes. associate the two before. Um, but that does mean, yes, a level up in your future. Mayhaps. Or you or you Maybe. perish. Or we die. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. There's right. no in between. Either you level up or die. There's I mean, no stagnation. I do feel like that is just the epitome of all adventuring. Level up that's or die. That's life, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. Dude, he's right though. <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta level up with the times or perish. So, exactly. um, the D and D equivalent of death of taxes. It's you either die or <laughs> adventure. That's that's what you get. Or you level yeah. up. That's the tax part. Mm. So, currently, I have two DM windows open at the same time. I was losing my mind for a second, but we are here. Um. Before we get things uh, underway and started, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, you guys did manage to gather uh, some of the materials and also have acquired some recipes of things that you can uh, you can craft as a friendly reminder. Here that Ooh, is. Recipe. Recipe. A brand new. Oh, oh that's, those are the, <laughs> the basic one. I'm sorry. Uh, recipe. So, um, I know you guys have had a chance to look at all of this. We won't read through all of it again. Um, but also uh, to sell uh, our Patreon, uh, the Noble Manticore, uh, the Noble Noble Manticore Creature Packet is currently on Patreon for our Game Masters. Ooh. Includes uh, this the stat block with the phase combat, includes the materials you can gather from them, and all of the magic items that you can craft using those materials. So, uh, patreoncom slash world of IO. Yes, so we've got, uh, for crafting, the Boots of the Manticore, the Noble Archer's Bracers. Um, a brief change to the Noble Archer's Bracers, because I realized, holy shit, um, I was kind of thinking it from a... D&D &D has an interesting... We won't get into, like, the intricacies of D&D &D and all that, but D&D &D does have an interesting way of, like, being like, yeah, it's a fun little buff. Like, the, I feel like, especially mm -hmm. with 5th edition, there was still a 3rd edition mindset with some items, but then it slowly oh, yeah. transitioned over to 5e, which does kind of make things a little bit busted. Anyways, the the reason why I'm saying that is the Noble Archers Bracers has now changed so that you do get proficiency still with all ranged weapons, but now um, you get a plus, it, the plus 2 bonus is turned into a plus 1 bonus, and also it does not stack. Uh, with enchanted weapons. So it is effectively Ooh. these bracers makes it so that any ranged weapon you hold is effectively a plus one weapon and you have proficient with uh, proficiency with it. Um, so that alone felt like a, a good up there and kind of keep things balanced in the numbers department. But if you already have a plus one weapon, then it doesn't. It doesn't really it. do it. If you and you're already proficient yeah. with that weapon, it's not for you. This is essentially it kind of. It mm. basically gives you like mass, like a masterwork weapon automatically. Like you're a master okay. of that weapon. It's the way so I'm it's, interpreting so it. So it's least. something that is not to make you better at Correct. range. It's for people who are bad at range to be good at range. Correct. That's the best way to look at it. <laughs> and also because you have you gain proficiency with all your ranged weapons. Uh, for example, a wizard can use a longbow or a fucking mm, rifle. Get you know. Yeah. It. Oh yeah. So oh my god. As a ranger, would, would probably not benefit. Uh, yes, gun. Yeah, it's the rarest. The oh, rarest. Go, go on. Have you guys heard about the rarest Games Workshop model, which is literally wizard with the with the machine gun? No. It's literally a <laughs> wizard like Gandalf holding a like a Tommy gun. Mm -hmm. It's the <laughs> best thing ever. Yeah. So the so yeah, Noble Archers Bracers has kind kind of turned more into a utility item than a support for ranged uh, ranged mm. things. Now, yeah. um, spiked armor. Um, just FYI, you can apply this on any armor set, so it does not have to be. It's not a, we do, uh, we have weapons and armor augments so that you don't have to like craft like, oh man, this is plate. I don't want that. You know, this effectively is good for anyone that uses armor. Um, and then for spiked weapons, um, excuse me, for spiked weapons, uh, same as before. And we even talked about this. You can use the spiked weapon on some gauntlets or some leather gloves right. and it makes your unarmed, it, it improves your unarmed strike makes your unarmed strike a, a plus one weapon effectively. 
And now you have the bonus piercing damage you get to do once per turn. And then of course, Heart of the Manicore, always Pog. It uh, dash as a bonus action um, and you get uh, free casts of heroism on yourself. So with that said, because I heard you guys were talking a little bit and if you need more time to talk, you are free to do so. I know chat always enjoys the uh, the, the the plotting that goes on with the players. Uh, is there anything that you would like to assemble? Usually, we're definitely making the heart, the heart. of the manicure because yeah. we got the rare ruby. Yep, whatever mm -hmm. the ruby heart, mm -hmm. which yeah, uh, is currently in Nam's inventory. <sighs> yeah, so that's yeah. like we're making that for sure. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, very good. Um, so let's start with that. Who will be getting the heart of the mana core? I think we were talking that about getting that the tall, right? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> well, I, uh, didn't, well, well, it, wasn't he going to get uh, Dash as a bonus action anyway? No. Yeah, because isn't tall a monk? I'm a barbarian. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I thought you were a monk all this time. Mm-mm. No, I just an unarmed barbarian. Range. Unarmed barbarian. Oh my god! I genuinely thought that you were a monk. Okay, yeah, toss yeah, it all. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> you Absolutely. Know, the, it probably should have taken the hit when you kept saying "I rage." Yeah, yeah that, well, you could have multi-spec or something. <laughs> Here, here's here's the question: Who like? I have good range, so I I think I don't need it. Does anybody have like decent range or speed that they think they don't need it? I mean, I've I've got the range for sure. Yeah, so probably not me or Garrix. I think either Toll or Noms should have the uh, the heart because being able to yeah. dash, especially uh, do, do barbarian. I remind me, do barbarians get a movement speed increase? Don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. Toll is also good at like locking down big creatures. Yes, I, exactly. I get heroism just naturally as a lottle, so uh, oh. I, that would be wasted on me. I, so I, I don't need it. And yeah. the, the heart goes to the elephant man. Oh, dang, I guess I'll have to take the super cool <laughs> magic item. <laughs> <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh, dang, oh, guys. The I super cool insist. legendary item fits my build. Ooh. Oh, no. Sorry to disappoint you, but you'll just have to take it this time, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, man. You guys can have the also, next super cool rare item. Completely unrelated, but Brett, I noticed the the pause icon is different. Yes, uh, it's very is that a, cool. Is that, a, is that a mod? That is a mod. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. I gotta get that one. Yeah, you do. The mod is called. One of our community members pointed it out to me, and I was like, "That's really fucking good. well." So it, this community, I, I now I have to shout them out because they actually had a couple of good, <laughs> uh, good suggestions. Mod suggestions, yeah. Oh my god, they it was like a back to back. I was like, holy shit, that's super, like these. This is all very helpful. Um, so mm -hmm. they, you know, our uh, our uh, backer kit tracker, unfortunately, doesn't have it yet because I get to set it up. But uh, but effectively, this person um, pointed out a uh, a Google Chrome add-on that turns every page into dark mode. So Ooh, I thought that was really nice. cool. I would like to post that up. And then they uh, Rin is their name. Um, they also then followed that up with a foundry recommendation called Pause Customizer is the name. Um, and, and it allows you to change right what the pause screen looks like, including replacing the um, replacing the icon. So yep, yep. Pause Customizer, and it's added to my foundry games. <laughs> and it's it. <laughs> and I've got it. Mine now. <laughs> and that's, that's at, 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 at Monty, that's why we like foundry. It's that easy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it before. So. <laughs> I was going to say, this pause is brought to you in part by EO. Yeah, yeah, it literally, it literally is just, it literally is just as easy as um, Cypher being like, what's that mod? And I go this, and you're like, added. yoink, and now it's added. <laughs> okay, so uh, I will give the Heart of the Manticore over to Tall. Give me one moment while I remove the Ruby Heart. Uh, in addition, uh, Noms, do you want to hand over the egg to Redroth? Ooh. Ooh, right, the egg. <laughs> the egg. No, Noms is going to be real protective of it, but he'll do it. But he's going to be shooting the stink eye every couple of minutes. Like, don't you eat my egg. I want, I want, my, I want that egg. The, uh, he, he looks over, he'll look over at you and it's like, it's like, listen, Noms, the kitchen's still being worked on. You'll actually hear the sound of heavy construction in the background as the, the uh, kitchen's still under renovations, <laughs> but progress is being made. Oh. Oh, 
that's why I'm saving it. So that the kitchen can get fixed, but I don't want you eating my egg before then. Uh, how exactly am I going to eat your egg if I have no kitchen to cook it in? I would eat it raw. I Wouldn't would you? Eat, eat no, no, no eating it raw. Bad. He <laughs> said, boy would, oh. fix his head, yeah. The boy oh. would eat it raw. Okay. Well, your constitution could probably handle a raw egg pretty easily. Not me. I get, I get a little irpy, and then he pats his chest a little bit. Oh, no RP for you. Not you can RP. have a plate later, though. Oh. Well, I might take you up on that. Thank you very much. <laughs> How so, big is this egg? Like, height-wise? Uh, nom size. Nom chest size. <laughs> pretty big, okay. <laughs> it's it's a pretty, like four times the size of an ostrich egg. Yeah, it's a, actually, no, I, would say, I would say it's a little bit larger than an ostrich egg is, I think, the best way I would describe it. Yeah, yeah. it'd be much larger. Much, yeah, yeah. So we'll say a little bit larger. Not not chest size, yeah, but definitely a, a large, sizable egg that can break very easily. Uh, but yes, I went ahead. Uh, normally, crafting uh, in IO5e takes a long rest. Um, but because you are at the Hunter's Guild, which has plenty of crafting facilities, uh, they are able to, with a team of uh, trained fey lines uh, easily uh, assemble anything that you need with the materials that you have gathered. So, Art of the Manticore is crafted. Is there anything else uh, that you guys would like to make? Um, If we need speed, then we could probably put, because we have a hide, mm -hmm. um, and we just have to probably put some money into the boots of the Manticore, because if we need already... speed, then we could use that. So... Let's take a look at the boots of the manacore, shall we? And I'm also going to bust out my calculator and auto-calculate all this. <laughs> so, um, first of all, you need uh, one manticore hide, which you have. Um, yeah. You also need four manticore spikes. So, Tall we got one. is, I believe, really keeping one. that as a trophy, correct? Yeah, I didn't really want to use it. Yeah, so you're free to. You are definitely free to keep it there. Um, <laughs> for the Manticore hide, Manticore hides are worth seventy five credits. Let me go ahead and multiply. Um, Two twenty five. Well, oh, times four, three hundred. Three hundred. Yes. So you need a hundred credits worth of materials. Uh, you are also mm -hmm. free to use. Um, I know it just says leather, um, but bone as well. Although I think the only bone you have is the Manticore spike. So, but any yeah. other leather material, um, you could use at two x value. Or you can just use uh, raw credits, which means uh, 100 credits will be needed to craft this item. Yeah, I have one hide, and then I have the manticore main. So if you do use um, a second manticore hide, um, that will add 150 credits to the crafting. Which means you'll actually be able to assemble the item with two manticore hides if you'd like. Oh. That, we have then. three, so we could do that. Yeah. yeah. So the first one is 300 credits, but the second one would be 150 credits since it's not part of the recipe, but still yep. fulfills the potential material requirement. So mm. um, just as a heads up, uh, there is optional rules within our crafting system that you can get scraps of a material sort of as a uh, as a as a, like leather scraps and stuff like that. Um, for this game, however, uh, you will not be able to do that. You essentially oh. will have to use the item up in its entirety. So if you would like to use two Manticore hides, uh, one from, it looks like Garrick's and one from Nom's, you can make the boots with no credit spent. Sounds yes, good to me. I, mean, I think yeah. I have a hide as well. I'd probably be more comfortable with giving up mine. Okay. Sounds <laughs> good. Yeah, Garrick, we, can, we Garrick, can do that. Do you want to keep yours or Nom's? Oh, uh, I, I don't care. As far as okay. I'm concerned, all of this is going into the grinder eventually anyway. So. <laughs> True. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I'll give up mine if you guys want to give up one of yours, just because I have no real use for it right now. So. Okay, so who will be getting the boots of the manticore? Don't speak up all at once now. Bayline, <laughs> Bayline holds I'll out the pair of like boots. I'll fucking take the boots. <laughs> Get two. Noms. Just load me up. I don't care. Noms, I think choose. you should have it. I think items. noms, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. give it the noms. Increased oh. speed. Is it reduced if you're encumbered or wearing heavy armor? 
Yeah, that's good for yeah, noms. Sounds good. Yeah, that's good for noms. <laughs> Big jumpies the... too. Yeah, and three times jump distance. Jesus. This, this amphibian slowly turning into noms an actual hops. frog. <laughs> <laughs> also, keep in mind, all of these items do require attunement. Right. So, and how many do we have as a player? Three. Three. Okay. Although, in IO five E, uh, you do gain more attunement slots as you go. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we and then we still have one main and one hide, right? Correct. Yes. So we could go for the spiked armor or spiked weapon, switching out the manicore spike for like one of the one of the hides. I'm not. Or I've, I'm not I've, got, I've, got, I've also got spiked armor. Oh, okay. Creature uh. successfully hits you. You can expend. Yeah, it doesn't say that it has to be a a melee attack either. Nope. Me any weapon. Or the spike weapon on my long because I'm already stacking extra damage with like Hunter's Mark and everything. So if I want it, so we shouldn't make it. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> true, spike, wait, true, spike, true. spiked weapon or spiked armor? Uh, either or. I mean, the spike weapon might be good because then I'm like doing Hunter's Mark and my Dread Ambusher thing on top mm. of it, and it's like stacking or stacking a bunch of dice. And then if I crit, it's gonna go crazy. It's gonna go crazy, crazy, dude. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I'm, I'm down for giving uh, Cypher a spiked weapon. Arrow. Okay, I don't really um, need the AC as a ranger. Uh, give me one uh, quick second. Uh, I have to make sure this says uh, self. Perfect. Added heroism to tall. Hmm. Uh. Oops. I also need to check what when when thing. Since we're in that weird transition. Specifically, what does heroism do in 2024? Oh yeah. Did they change it? it? Oh, no. I, think. I don't I don't I don't yeah, I don't oh, think Oh in 2024 I have no idea. Yeah, that's uh that's so I'm gonna look that up now. Well my, <laughs> just my, got him. Yeah, go on. Just got to make sure that it, it's on the level as opposed to, like, being incredibly broken or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it's, yeah, it's not so much that. It's just I want to make sure I understand what they did, but if they added anything, like, really cool to it. Uh, you gain temporary hit points equal to your spellcasting modifier at the start of each of your turns. Okay, so that's just going to be a three for heroism, just FYI. Uh, when the spell oh. ends, the target loses. Okay. Oh, that's what. Oh, yeah. The biggest change that happened is it's just because they changed how temporary hit points works uh, in 2024 in a good way. Um, so uh, temporary hit points were kind of like weird to figure out before because like certain spells would give it to you, but then you'd lose the temp hit points with the dur once the duration ended. But then there yeah. were other effects out there that just gave you temp HP and then shrugged and didn't give you a duration. So now every source that gives you temporary hit points effectively what happens is um when you take a long rest the temp hp goes away so oh, mm, i like that okay. yeah okay. there is no so there's no duration anymore so um i will yeah just make that three so yeah so for tall uh you will gain three temporary hit points when you use heroism now just is this a concentration uh let me see the item uh, let me see here. Because I wouldn't be able to rage, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> it is a concentration. However, I will allow you to... Um, well, actually, let me see here. That might actually change a lot of things, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, you can't... So, you can cast it. And then when you rage, the constitution drops. But you would still keep the temporary hit points. Mm. Oh. Right, but it wouldn't like refresh the spider every turn. It wouldn't refresh after that. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Interesting. That is, that is correct. I mean, the dash is still it's, still, <laughs> it's still good for you, I think. Yeah, overall positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it? Do you still get the immune to frightened while casting heroism? Correct. Yes, yeah, I think so. But if the concentration drops, then so does the frightened. Right. Immunity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but actually, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you do. Just don't rage. Just you can't be raging. You can't do it. Don't yeah. do your thing, barbarian. <laughs> yeah, don't do don't do your 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 core. Yeah, it's the main thing that barbarians do. 
Um, would you still like to keep it, or would you like to yeah. give it to someone oh, else? Yeah, the, the death yeah. action on bonus action is nice. Okay, cool, awesome. Um, very good. Uh, so, uh, we were talking the spike weapon, is that correct? Yes. All right, so we still have uh, a hide and a main from Garrix. Uh, we still have hilltop iron and copper, which you can also use, I, I think, for... No, for weapons, it's just uh, Scorpion King materials and bone. Oh, oh, ignore the Scorpion. Yeah, that's just a, a typo. So the spiked weapon is actually going to be manticore materials uh, and bone. You are correct. Yeah. Mm. I will uh, also allow metal for that as well. Because you mm. can make spikes out of metal. That's easy peasy. That makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or we can just take the ones that are in uh, Her Herzog's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, got two right there. You want the one in my eye? <laughs> so we spike. that one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let, me, let me check something real quick. Oh, I didn't realize there was one in your eye. Either did I. I hadn't zoomed in enough. Oh my gosh, yeah. Jeez, oh. what happened? Okay, so um, for the job these accident. For the spiked weapon, I, what I will allow is um, the Manticore uh, main, uh, along with um, a metal or bone. And then you will, you, the Manticore spike is specifically meant to signify the, you know, the spike itself. Um, but because the Manticore main covers the entire market value cost of the item, I would just need um, a spike source. So essentially, um, Herzog, you can give up your copper or your iron um, to make the spike, and then you'll have the spiked weapon. Uh, we can go for the. We can go for the. Well, I, I want to discuss this with the party. We can go for the copper because it is the less expensive one. But like you know, it, then you're walking around with a with a copper weapon. You know, yeah, do, you you really want, do you really want? Do you really want to? Yeah, <laughs> you really want to be the guy with the copper spiked weapon. I've played Minecraft, I know how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, up to you. It's up to Sai, it's his weapon. Um... I don't know! Yeah, As well... Aesthetically, it would look probably quite good because you're blue and copper's like an orange color. But uh, that's yeah. completely superficial. I know, it's, it, and even after it oxidizes, it would still continue to match because that green yeah. would go well with this, with his blue scales. True, mm -hmm. true, true. Yeah, I think you're cooking here. Oh, I think that the. Uh... Think that's the plan. Yeah, I yep. think that's the plan. Let's do the hilltop copper. Uh, will you be using your longbow as the base weapon? Yes. Okay. So this longbow will turn into not that, <laughs> not that uh, <laughs> a spiked uh, longbow. Uh, now remember, um, you can use these weapons unattuned. You would only get the enhancement bonus, but you wouldn't get the added effects if you use it unattuned. But I'm assuming you will be attuning because yeah, oh yeah, there's nothing else. Yeah, because exactly. I have nothing but open slots. Yeah, as far as I can see. <laughs> well, now. For now. Um, okay, so give me one quick second. Let me go ahead and make this adjustment. Uh, so this is a plus one weapon now. So I'm going to go ahead and do one, do plus one. So very good. We've got our first plus one weapon after one session. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, that's pretty good if you ask me. And then I'm going to add an active feature. Um, called bonus piercing damage. So, if you would like to make this your, um, remember, you can only do this once per turn, just FYI. He's clicking them. <laughs> yeah, once per turn. Cool. And then I'm gonna do 1d6 piercing. And then the last thing I'm going to do... Let's change the way this looks. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks good. Wahoo! We make sure this works for you, and then we will be. Hot damn! Roll that one for you. Don't worry about it. Yeah. for <laughs> me. Yeah, you won't do it again. Okay. Uh, so that will uh, take up the main that you guys gathered. So that means the last thing you have. Um, is a manticore hide. Yep. And I've got a hilltop iron as well. And, and a hilltop uh, iron, uh, yeah. 
so uh, for future crafting. Unless there yeah, was something like else some of this we should just sit on and save for like new recipes. Yeah, yeah. or we could sell it and get a potion. That's the other option. That, that's true. That is true. So if you do sell, um, let me see here. So if you do sell uh, the hide, uh, you will get a net five by two, uh, 30, uh, 38 credits. Uh, oh, it. okay, so it's less if we sell it. Mm, Correct. That doesn't even get us one potion. Yeah, definitely just hold on to it. What? Yeah, let's hold on to it then. Okay, what if we were to craft something and then and then sell the thing we crafted? Hmm. That is Ooh, true. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we could do that. Because Around then the, the value goes up. Value, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a good point. Mm -hmm. So we hang on to our materials until we can craft them into stuff we don't necessarily need. And then sell, and then the sell them off for a profit. Now Genius. you're just... And you're thinking with portals. Oh my god, stonks, dude. I just want stonks. That's... Arms crossed suit on stonks. Me, me, the designer and DM, does a He's slow like, nod. Oh, according to plan. <laughs> yeah. Now you're Good figuring work, it player, out. Player, you figured it out. Also, I don't know if, we said, I don't know if, I, yes, if I said it last me. week, but this mechanic is really cool, honestly. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, we've been working on it for the past two plus years now, so it's just fi Damn. it's just fine tuning. That's all it is. It's just continuously fine tuning. If you saw what it was before, you would scream. I mean, it, I I did. <laughs> I it, when we first did crafting, um, it's it took the entire episode, and I went, "That's not gonna work for me." <laughs> uh, well, I remember that because we we did that during um uh brawn. Yeah, we did. We did do some. Crap. We did just. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. It is. It's that's, how I, that's how I got my fists. Yeah, it was. It was cool. It was customizable, but it took way too long to get anything done. So it was really. It was really sick, and you could make super customized stuff and really get into the nitty gritty. But it took all sessions. It took, it took the entire. It was. It was a downtime session. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do have a couple of people sometimes go. Well, why didn't you keep doing that? I'm like, because a downtime activity shouldn't take three hours in real life. <laughs> Because yeah. nightmare. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, cool, awesome. And we got three. Well, if you ever need filler content, you can always bring that back. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna bring back uh, IO Classic is what Phase Two is. We're gonna oh, bring it yeah. back. <laughs> oh no, we're going back to the old. old it's way. back, baby. Get a hop on roll twenty. <laughs> IO Classic, baby. IO Classic. Honestly, oh. I would I would love to do revisit Phase Two in Foundry. That sounds like it would be. Uh, more, uh, less fun than it sounds. <laughs> it's the, now that I'm talking, thank you about it some more. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yeah, so, uh, after spending some time, getting some rest, uh, in Inya, you all... Uh, rest? Yes! Oh, oh I've already rest. given you all long rest. Uh, every time oh. you complete oh. a hunt, uh, you guys are able to go here, get all the, all your stuff, uh, crafted and assembled. Uh, take it nice and easy and benefit from a long rest because of it. And I've already uh, long rested all of you, so you should be all be back at full resources. <laughs> good, I was my like that Spell score. slots, spell oh, slots, my beloved. <laughs> Y'all look good kitted out in your new gear. I don't think I'll be running as many races against you, though, Elephant Man. I run good. You run even better now. Uh... You watch as Red Roth is kind of looking through some notes, uh, apparently answering to some correspondences that have been sent to the, uh, sent to them. Um, by responding to correspondence, I mean you'll see them actually pull out. Um, you'll see them pull out a little, um, you know, again some some sending stones, like messaging some things. Red Roth seems to be in a little bit of uh, not a panic, but definitely seems uh, ramping up perturbed. a little bit. Yeah, a little perturbed about some things that are going on. Uh, but he's kind of like walking around, you know, trying to figure some some things out. And uh, uh, what's everyone's passive perception? Ooh, that's a good mm, question, Mega Man. Um, <laughs> me, 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 Mega Man. Uh, Twelve. Thirteen. Where do 13. I find Mega that? Man? It's in parentheses next to where your your modifier is on attributes. Ah, uh, Twelve. So if you go oh, to perception. 12. All right, gotcha. Let's go 12 gang. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, 13 gang. I don't stand yeah. with that. Well, 12 and 13 would be insufficient. So unless you guys oh, want to be a little snoop, you guys can roll a perception check. 
I'm not interested in what he's doing. Yeah, I'll be nosy. <laughs> I'll be a little nosy, Nancy. 21. <laughs> All right. Uh, Garrick Soul, you'll, uh, you'll kind of hear uh, muttering into the stone. Uh, he'll say, he'll, he'll say, oh, yeah, there seems to be a bunch of executioners. I don't know if they're migrating or, 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 or getting ready to breed or uh, I'm not entirely certain, but there's a lot of them and they're causing a bit of threat to the farmlands over to the south. I could probably send Paw Patrol out there, but I don't know if they're ready yet. Uh, they still haven't finished their marks. But, I mean, if it's gonna be... If it's that bad, I might have to hasten things up. Well, anyways, just go and keep in touch, alright? And then you'll, uh, you'll put the stone away uh, before kind of just... It hits, hits the edge of the stone, it goes beep! <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Places the stone away, and you'll kind of just watch as uh, Redroth... Uh, Continues to keep things in order. We lead into the party. I say, I think the bartender has a problem. Huh? Wait, well, yeah, his kitchen's burnt down. Oh, like one we can solve for money. I, I mean, like money. Well, if I'll give I don't me more wanna... materials to figure out an away, figure out some away bases. The mana core didn't really produce much. I overheard him making a stone call. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> did, it did sound good. Oh, man. <laughs> what yeah? is the threat? Hey, what? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I thought Tall, <laughs> I, I literally thought Tall just looked over and was like, what's going on? Because I had this something yeah. I see Tall do. I mean, he's, he's not quiet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys are talking to Bucks yourselves. He wouldn't interrupt the conversation. Mm. Of course, of course. What was the bartender's name again? <laughs> oh, His Red Roth. His name Roth. is Bartender. Oh, Red Roth, bartender. what are you going to do with yourself? It's bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Looks up at you. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, Garrick, how can I help but, you? But overhear you while you were talking on the stone with... Whoever it was on mm. the other end. Naughty, naughty. He wags his finger over at you. It's, I'm very perceptive. <laughs> You're very good at dropping eaves. Let's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, well, right now we're currently dealing with uh, uh, an aviary problem, let's just say. Not to worry. I think we're going to go ahead and, and get it handled, though. You sure we couldn't handle it for you? We are looking for a job, after all. He will give a, a a light smirk and just says, Well, I always appreciate hunters who are willing to go above and beyond, uh, but this one might still be a little dangerous for you, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, right. come on. We can handle it. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Or a deception check right. if you're really self-doubting. I mean, whatever you want to no, do. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's zero either way. So. Uh, okay. He's reversing the psychology on us. He rubs his chin and says, Well, I do appreciate the eagerness. However, you recently were given the third rank of the of the of hunt of the hunters guild. He looks around a little bit as if deep in thought. He sighs and he's like, I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and ask. Greenhorn hunters, anyways, to take care of this. The, the menace that these executioners are causing. All right, I tell you what. He leans over to you. You just finished uh, your first hunt in this ring. You did a pretty good job. Well, the gatherers are in the Fey line are very happy with what you've done. But I still feel like I, I can't send you out into harm's way like that without really seeing what you're capable of. So... How about this? He leans in, making sure no one else can hear. You complete this next hunt. I'll feel convinced enough to, to assign you the prime mark early. What do you say? Hmm. You have yourself a deal. Uh, By the way, I didn't mention it before, but we've been brainstorming a new name for our hunting party. Oh, wonderful. He takes out the book, opens it. <laughs> So what are we, uh, what are you registering your name, your, your party name is? Our name will be... God, you, you wanna, you wanna get over here, you came up with the name, he's... 
I did not. It was a team effort. Was, was, well, it was you spearheaded the brainstorming. I winter spearheaded the winter <laughs> exactly, spearheaded. exactly. Ah, spearhead. What an excellent uh, name for a group. Nope, uh, that's uh, not no, the name. That is not <laughs> it. <laughs> we would like to be called One Size Fits All, or Osva for short. Osva, One Size Fits All. Do you get it? It's because we're all different sizes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh. Yeah, it's very creative. Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. you we all good. agree. So what? What? Look, the camera took us six days to decide on this. <laughs> <laughs> just all, just heads down in note pages, brainstorming this over six days. One size fits all, except for the the name entry for the party. Ah, we could squeeze that in. Hold on one second. Just abbreviate it. You know, get rid of the spaces spot. in between every word and. Man, hey, maybe you. Use the number one. May, yeah, maybe use the number one instead of writing out the word one. <sighs> well, that looks like you're trying too hard. You know what I'm saying? Now nah, I can make sure I fit <laughs> this words in here. Here we go. We always can you, try can you maybe put two X's on either end of it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. One smaller, one larger. Yeah, 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 yeah. With a little bit of underscore in there. Yeah, then we gotta even that doesn't handle the character problem. Look, I'll, Oh I'll, yeah. And we gotta have we gotta have room for the clan tag as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well it, it, I'm, I'm gonna fade it in the book, don't worry, but understood. We'll have brackets Ozfa in front of our <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> One size with a Y fits with a Z. I got a question for you. Why did you replace the I with a Y and the Z S with a Z? Like, I feel like that doesn't help. Except makes you look incredibly silly. Like, put a, a, two more numbers in there fit. We, we, we got to fit a 69 or a 420 in there. I don't feel good about that whatsoever. All right, let's go ahead and get the hunts. Yeah, we're going to go uh, one size fits all. Right. I like that. I like that. I'll make sure we get that registered for you right away. Can well, we, can we say what the workshop names were? Because we had, we had a couple oh, other please. Yeah, absolutely. We had Noble Five, which was when we mentioned the first session. Mm -hmm. And then we had Tall and Small. What's the other one? <laughs> is the N just an N? It's T O L. I'll, I'll type it out here so you can see it. Here you go. Tall. Mm, small. Tall. tall. Mm, small. Oh, that's the other one. <laughs> tall and small. I like that. That's cute. Do we want one size fits all? Because we have. Yeah. We, we basically range the spectrum of different heights. Very good. <laughs> all right. So. Good names, everyone. Excellent, uh, excellent, and well done. Um, so you'll kind of watch um, as uh, Redroth, the uh, the barkeep, will once again pull out the uh, Stone of Illusions and say, "As far as the the regular marks go for your rank, uh, there's another group that's also been taking these 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 critters out at a at a rapid pace. Uh, but I think you'll be able to catch up to them." We only got two available. Everything else has been hunted, Ooh. I'm afraid. Uh, we have... The Gray Basilisk. Oh, my God. Oh, he looks crunchy. Oh, my God. And he the, looks crunchy. And the, fall, and the False Devil. He looks like veggies. I'm not interested. And the Basilisk looks like he's got some good, sturdy foundation. Might be able to use that in my line of work. Kind yes, of the other like one me. is too small. We will need to make some of those copper items to prevent us from getting petrified. Oh, I wish I didn't spend my copper make, helping, uh, helping... I forgot your character's name. <laughs> Garrix. <laughs> helping Garrix make his weapon. Yeah, but it looks so good, though. It Do does look very good. Maybe we should search for more copper before we take on this creature, make the items before we fight it. Do you think that's doable? So if we could we find them. Buy it. So, uh, yes, you can purchase. So, copper. The copper needles are going to be fifty credits. Uh, oh. You can also craft your hilltop iron into a makeshift copper needle because it's worth twenty-five credits. It's half mm. the price. You need. You can use metals uh, and alchemicals to make copper needles. Uh, so, if you would like to use your hilltop iron, you could actually transform that into a copper needle. Well, dang. I well, suppose my iron could work if we want to use that. 
me one quick Sorry, a visual of my brain of just Herzog just like pulling off his shirt and he's got like a metal arm he starts doing like alchemy <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh, give me one quick second I'm just taking a look here at the shit oh you know what I think yeah, they call me wonder... half metal I wonder how transmutation wizards would affect the crafting system that's that's where my brain just went there actually hmm well, That'd be so, interesting. So what's really cool, so you could definitely add something like that. The reason why the, the crafting system kind of works, it leaves a lot open to interpretation to the GM. So you could easily say that the transmutation wizard, for example, would transmutate the hilltop iron into a copper deal, kind of reassessing all the properties, things like that. There's a lot of story that can go in with the crafting system. And how you would like to make it from a from a narrative standpoint, you know what I mean? So yeah, there mm -hmm. definitely are those options open. Um, yeah. Let me see here. Ba ba ba. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I got the copper needle right here. Uh, that is assuming you would like to transmutate, or I mean, we might as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, craft it. Yeah, uh, let let's do that just so we have one. Okay. I will add this to you. Keep in mind that these are consumables, so they can only be mm -hmm. used once. Um, but it is 50, uh, 50 credits to make, uh, to purchase a copper needle, uh, 50 credits to purchase, uh, potions of healing. Man. Oh boy. I'm a bit more concerned about the petrification if I'm being real. Mm. How bad yeah. is petrification? So really in D&D, in &D, it is bad. In IO5. Like you are dead. <laughs> yeah. In IO, it, it kind of is. Uh, in IO5E, um, there are um, lesser conditions and greater conditions. What that means is if a condition is a lesser condition, it can be removed with a lesser restoration. If it is a greater condition, it can only be removed with a greater restoration. And okay. every condition has these two subsets. So the um, bat, the gray basilisk uh, inflicts with lesser petrification. Mm. Okay. So it's easier to remove if it does happen. Um, in D and D, like the ways to remove petrification is very high level, and, and there's yep. there's a lot of weird creatures that just petrify people at lower levels, which is kind of strange to me. But eh, I, it's whatever. Um, so yes, this um, the so the copper needles remove lesser petrification. I have I have quite the story to tell about a character who I lost to being petrified. It's a quite the saga, and it was. <laughs> That's the moment I saw the basilisk show up, I was like, oh, fear. <laughs> Don't become a statue. Oh. Uh, so, yes. Garrick's, Garrick's oh. you're fast, wiry, and stay away from, and generally are far away from combat, so I want to give you the copper needle should anything happen to us. Mm. So if you get <laughs> petrified, I have to save you. If I get petrified, I won't be able to use the copper needle. That's fair. <laughs> Wait, is that true? <laughs> Shit, right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the, yeah, typically, yeah, well, I, I, I was about to tell you how pet petrification works, but, uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta find it. You gotta Fair figure it enough. out. <laughs> you gotta find out how it works. I, I think um, we should do the basilisk. It looks really I cool. I agree. Yeah, yeah, me too. Sorry, first false devil. Yeah, yeah he's you. lame. Uh, I would like to buy a, <laughs> another needle. Uh, all he said. Uh, yep. I've reduced yeah. your credit amount, and I am adding a copper needle to your inventory. Uh, I would, you know, I would hate for us to get petrified. <laughs> Any? How much are potions? 50, same. Fifty credits. 50. They're the same. Yeah. Uh, I have seventy-three. I could buy one, just to have one. Do you want a potion okay. of healing? Yeah. yeah you know that, what? I'll buy a potion of healing. Okay. One second. I was also thinking about getting a potion, but do we want an extra needle just to be safe? Because we have two I needles. Have three one at this point, right don't now. we? Wait, do we... I'm holding it? one. I bought one. Okay, two. I feel oh, like so two we've, should we've be enough needles. as long as uh... we have three. Okay, as long as we're like, I feel like we know that petrification is like going to happen, so we can like play around it. Yeah, I think we should get at least one more copper needle for like the people in the front line because we got one person who's far away, one person who's up close. And the whole party becomes statues. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just saying that like if if like the Smile. people in close in close combat, I get what you're saying that we should have some contingencies. The other thing, the and this is, line a gets popped. <laughs> this is a DM call entirely. I do have Blorbo. Blorbo could be a tactical <laughs> needle deployment agent, Ooh, but I don't know okay. what. 
the rules on that would be, but that would be pretty funny. Same, same, <laughs> same clutch. as as any creature using it would be a bonus action to use, uh, <laughs> action go. to throw. Okay, so we could add Blorbo to the turn order and have Blorbo potentially. But I will a say medic, that Blorbo but... can only hold one needle. I, I'm okay with that. That's <laughs> as well. Like, and that's, suddenly yeah, Blorbo has become a target. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. You gotta <laughs> Blorbo can hold one consumable. <laughs> okay. Reasonable. Blorbo! Let's, let's give Blorbo a needle. Uh, who is purchasing? Oh, do you guys want me to get another potion? Do you guys want me to get another needle? We have I'll grab needles? I'll grab the needle. You can get the potion. Okay, I'll get another potion then there, Brett. Understood. Your credits that will drop me. to 11, and then I will add a potion of healing to your consumable list. Dankeschön. Thank you so much. And then I'm going to grab a needle that I will gingerly place in uh, in the talons of Blorbo, if Blorbo uh, is a taloned bird. Are you purchasing another needle, uh, Herzog? Well, we had the one made, so yes. I'm purchasing a needle. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. That's why I'm checking. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that'll be another 50, and then I will add this needle to Blorbo. It's I'm gonna, like, everyone's take favorite some... Blorbo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give him, like, a wolverine claw, like, tie it to his, like, front little paw. <laughs> <laughs> you and, like, voted, and now this can't be undone. It's Blorbo. It's Blorbo. <laughs> Uh, Blurbo is gonna become a tiny little statue. <laughs> <laughs> Blurbo is targeted. <laughs> point out, if Blurbo goes, I don't have a way to bring him back. I was gonna say, oh, he no. gets what? petrified, like, it's just Hemlock in, in denial, be like, this is my familiar Blurbo. <laughs> That's okay. Carry him with me everywhere. Nice little, nice, <laughs> nice little paper holder, it'll be fine. You remember that that Looney Tunes cartoon with the dog with the kitten and the kitten? He thinks the yeah. kitten's turned into a cookie. That's oh, yeah. Gonna be. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Here with Blorbo when they're turned into a statue. Blorbo could also be a, a nice little doorstop. I mean, <laughs> you, gotta <think laughs> of the, you gotta think of the positives over here, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, J uh, Joe's character in the pirate campaign could have been a doorstop, too. That's true. Um, so, anything else you'd like to purchase? I think I'm good. I'm poor. I'm out of money. Uh, I'll save my money. Oh, can I buy a saw? How much is a saw? <laughs> huh? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> I've got carpenter's tools if you just want to borrow mine. Oh, cr actually, that's true. Them. You could just use the saw yeah, yeah, from, yeah. The from the carpenter's tools. Yeah, then I'm good. I'm good. OK, <laughs> can I have a saw? <laughs> Um, Don't ask just really looking up how much a saw costs. Uh, it would it would it would be eight credits for 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 that. You would essentially get a set of carpenter tools. I'll just borrow yours then, if you're okay with it. Yeah, it works for me. I don't know if I'm ever going to use them, but would you like me to add the carpet? Would you like the? I'm going to move the carpenter's tools over to Hemlock's inventory then. Oh no 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 that. You can keep the carpenter's tools. Just, I just want to know that we have a saw on our person. Now, now, yeah, now hold on. Uh, uh, <laughs> man, those are mine. <laughs> yeah, was, listen, a carpenter's tools are his life, so I'll let you borrow them, but you're not getting my entire belt. Of course, of course. All right. Is everyone ready for adventure? Yeah. Yeah. Where we are. All right. I know nope. it. <laughs> no. So, um, one thing Brett Broth will tell you and said, uh, you did well over at the 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 hill the the hilltop forest, uh, but the uh, the gray basilisk uh, seems to be wandering around the time forgotten fortress, also on one of their hills over at uh, over here at Atropa. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, jaunt you over there. Wish you the best of luck with your travels. And with that, uh, we will fast forward uh, to you all, all right. being teleported to the hills. And then before we do that, though, let's go ahead and take a small uh, water and bathroom break. Okay. And then mm -hmm. when we come back, uh, you guys will be one second, please. I'm forgotten fortress. Time forgotten. That's such a cool name. Time forgotten fortress. And you guys will be. Right here, baby! Woo!
So, Ooh. as a player, I'm very happy about this development. As my character, I'm very happy about this development. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back. And we're back. Hello, everybody. Hey. Hello. Uh, so, you all uh, will have been jaunted over to the Time Forgotten Fortress. Uh, here, you will see the ruins of an ancient uh, fortress that stood tall even uh, before the Shattering. Um, while there are many more cliff faces as before, uh, this place is sort of... Uh, um, uh, 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 yeah, this this place is a, a great area for for those that like uh, archaeology and, and big history buffs. Uh, you guys will arrive over at the um, over at the the basic camp, which I've explained before. You guys can freely short rest over here. Uh, after eight hours time, you guys will be teleported back um, for safety reasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think everything is good to go here. It is. So, let us begin. <laughs> incredible. Yeah, these are oh. kind of, like, observing the wall a little bit. I mean, this this has been standing tall for well over a thousand years, and even after Io's, shatter, uh, Io, Io's shattering. Like brushing my hand against like the stone this is craftsmanship right here amazing this has been standing up for over 500 years and survived even the shattering of iowa why do you care about a wall oh i care more about the wall i care about its construction <laughs> I, I care about how it stood the test of time i want to build something like this something that'll matter it's just bricks i'll <laughs> place a hand on tall's arm and i'll look up at him and go He's a dwarf. Let him have this. Oh my god! I was not prepared now for. Who's doing the microaggressing? <laughs> I was not prepared for the microaggressions today. You hear the wet, uh, sloppy footsteps of Nam as it slowly departs from the camp. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. No time for that. <laughs> Follow Nam into this uh, clearing of goodies. I would like to use my stone cunning to give me tremor sense for uh, for uh, ten minutes. And Ooh. so you shall. Which of you would like to gather first? Oh, well, Noms go first. Noms is beeline in it. Nom sees yummy looking mushrooms over here. Uh, Nom, go ahead and give me a one d one hundred roll, please, as you jump into the uh, into the area. All right, that's a 43. Uh, you will receive one. <laughs> you'll receive one blue cap. Nice. Huh. Huh. He sniffs it. Uh, it has a very noxious aroma. He licks it. Uh, your tongue then feels the, uh, the, the light sting of the blue cap. He puts it in his little his little sack. As he a, decides against popping it in his mouth. All right. I'm so proud. All right. Your girl. He's learning how to think. think. So I think we got a I think we have a, an overgrown herb as well, so we can actually make a potion of healing out of those two things. Eric, give me a one d one hundred roll, please. That's a forty seven. Ah, wonderful. I. Will excellently close the sheet that I was supposed to. <laughs> Very good. Uh, yes, that will be a ooh a sulfur root. Will be ooh. added to your inventory. Um. Yes, and so yeah, you will receive a sulfur root. Very nice. Uh, as a friendly reminder for crafting. Uh, a copper needle requires one hilltop copper and one sulfur root. Uh, which of you two would like to gather next? Between to, three to Herzog. All right. Herzog, go ahead and use the pickaxe that you would like. Yep. 
All right, that pickaxe will gain uh, two more wear and tear. Roll 13, so you're good to go. The pickaxe still works. Roll a 1d100 for me, please. 28. Ooh, a 28. Uh, you receive a hilltop copper. You're now hey, to, look at look at there. Yeah, you're now able to make another copper needle uh, if you would like. Nice. As a friendly reminder, making consumables takes one minute. Hemlock, also, would, do you like to oh, roll the uh, the herb, the 1d100 for me, or is there something else that you're yeah. doing? I was going to mention, I do have Lorbo out on my shoulder, though, so we don't need to like, bring out his token. I just want to okay. have him out, so I don't have to use an action to bring him out later. Yeah, I, I, I always assume, unless you tell me otherwise, that Lorbo is just resting on your shoulder. Okay, cool. Yes, I'm going to roll up my non-existent sleeves, and I'm going to hmm. start digging through. Sounds good. D100 roller. Uh, D100, please. Oh, there we go. Ooh, hey, 75. A 75 will get you a mountain top herb. Nice. Mountain top herbs, by the way, can be used to make greater potions of feeling if you get the correct mushroom Ooh. for it. Do we know what that mushroom is? Uh, yeah. uh, it says on the list here is an autumn cap. Oh. So... Very uh, good job. Any uh, okay. crafting you guys would like to do while you're you're here, or uh, will you oh. wait on that? Uh, we, got, we got the ingredients to make a potion of healing and a copper needle. If we wanted to make any of those, might as well. I mean, potion. It's a good idea. How long oh. will that take? Uh, about a minute each, I assume. All right, I grow impatient, though. I will pull out my healer's kit, which I assume has some materials in it, and I can I can make the potion if that's That works. Yep. All right. So you'll and grab. I'll, mm -hmm. uh, go I'll on. take out my I'll take out my mason tools and start carving the uh, the ore and the sulfur into a into a needle. Okay. No, I'll pass you the sulfur root. Um, will you also Thank be you, passing Garrix. the overgrown herb, Garrix? Uh, yeah. And the noms, you're, you're passing over the blue cap? Noms waddles over and waves it in the air. I got a shoe! Why is your tongue swollen? Uh, 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 that was me, dude. Mm. <laughs> I'll take I that. Don't, I don't do anything, I promise. I believe you. <laughs> oh, okay. Your I first was... mistake. I, <laughs> this is with <laughs> narrowed eyes. <laughs> Editor's note in the corner. <laughs> Winter Spear does not believe Noms. <laughs> so, not, Noms is just like going like num 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 over and over. So, Trying to get the feeling back in his tongue. Yeah. Uh, Hemlock, you will successfully create a potion of healing, and Herzog, you'll successfully create a copper needle. They've been added to your inventory already. Thank you kindly. I already have one. Who wants this one? I have one as well. I'm good. Oh. Here, I'll hand it to Noms. I was gonna say, little oh. guy's already eating the mushroom. Might as well get the full flavor of what it can do. This is medicine. His eyes start sparkling. Medicine, okay. Can Only drink, drink when, when I'm you... ouchy? Yes, exactly. Okay. Thank you. You'll hear um, several quiet roars as you hear the flapping of wings. Uh-oh. Give me one There's second. There's a door uh, to our south. Give me one second, please. I had to do this before. Game pause. Brought you Bart by EO. <laughs> <laughs> EO Games. <laughs> it's in the game. <laughs> it's pronounced <laughs> IO Guys. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, one moment, please. Ah, uh, very good. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and roll initiative, as you will see. Uh oh. Landing uh -oh. in, uh, and immediately beginning its attack on you. Um, are these small. Oh, one second, let's make sure I've done this correctly. One, one, update. There we go. Uh, you'll watch as uh, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. sorry. 
I, th I keep thinking I'm good to go, and then I find out I'm not. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, here we go. Uh, as flapping in and quickly landing are the small... Uh, manticores. As I've said before, the creatures that you clear ah, ah. Uh, affect the random encounters in the maps that you find later on. Uh, but they, these guys seem to have found a, a tasty meal. So let us begin. Okay, let me roll the initiatives for them. They are so tiny. They're so small. Okay. Garrick's. Okay. Going to move up this way. Uh, I will use my free bonus action cast of Hunter's Mark from Favorite Enemy. Very good. Uh, who will you be targeting? I will be targeting this guy if I can reach him with it. I think uh, so. It's 90 foot range. Yep, yeah, you, yeah. you definitely can. Let me go ahead and get the, the mark. All right, and then I will be cracking a shot off with the longbow. All right, let's see it. 16 to hit. Uh, 16 I does hit. All right, here's the bonus once per turn damage because of the spiked weapon. Eight. And then <laughs> let me add damage for Hunter's Mark. Uh, yeah, so with the spike alone, even outside of Hunter's Mark, you'll watch as with one shot, the creature immediately ah, just falls over. Oh, there. nice. <laughs> uh, okay, well then, yeah. And that's going to be my explode. <laughs> <laughs> These will be no challenge. <laughs> Ops over. <laughs> uh, and you'll kind of watch as uh, this creature will release a spike from its tail. Uh-oh. Uh, over at Noms. Does, yeah! a, does a 12 hit? Oh, my nope. God. <laughs> All right. Oh, my damage. Holy that crap. misses. That misses. Hemlock. All right. Hemlock is going to strategically. Uh, over here. Oh, there's another one. Uh, okay, then Hemlock's gonna run back and go. Nope. <laughs> I'm then gonna run between my two fighters. Isn't vision Howdy. great? <laughs> I will do my namesake, and I will do a ray of frost on this. Can I ping in Foundry? Yep. Hold uh, down the mouse button, you can ping. Oh, it's the same. Okay, sick. I'm going to aim at that one down there. Very good. With my Freya Frost. 20 oh, that, to hit. That'll hit. Seven points of damage. Seven points, and its speed is reduced by, I believe, ten. Yes, so you'll kind of watch as it slowly begins charging over, lo looking like it's about to give a leap. And then I'll use the rest of my movement to move up here. Or not. Uh oh. Or not. There we go. Got it. Assuming this is a place I can stand. Yep. Oh, cool. And there we go. Herzog. Alright, I'm gonna march on up over to the creature and start and take a whack at it with my war pick. A 12 Shit. to hit. Uh, you'll watch as it narrowly dodges as your Ooh. war pick drops down onto the area. You know, wiry motherfucker, ain't you? I slowed it down for you. What's going on? Hey, give me a break. I got one working eye. Hey, <laughs> I got slow. Where the hell's the intern button? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it looks like this thing was about to charge, and then you come in, it gets hit with the uh, ray of frost which makes the, the, the creature recoil a bit. And then as it tries to recover back from itself, your war pick slams down and it kind of dodges off uh, to the side a little bit. And instead of charging, it's going to retaliate at the one that is currently striking it with a tail mace. 17 to hit. What? That, that misses. Oh, oh. oh my god, that damage. Down. 
Yeah, um, let me let me check something real quick. That something doesn't seem why right. Are these, why why are these younglings so much stronger than their mother? 2D10 plus 3. Oh, it's rolling twice. Yeah, it's rolling That's twice. Why weird. <laughs> <laughs> Some okay, critical like, damage now, there. I was wondering I was like, what these numbers Brett, are. You sly dog, you <laughs> sent in some glass cannons. Yeah. I mean, uh, let me just roll a. Yeah, it's auto. Holy it's roll. It's like it's auto rolling some crits on this shit. God damn. Well, imagine if it did crit. <laughs> these noble manticores are like wielding glocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too certain why it's doing that. That's interesting. All right. Uh, well, it misses. Thank God. Um, tall. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna roll damage manually. I will show you how it is done. Ooh. 18 uh, to hit. That'll hit seven points of damage as it turns into paste. <laughs> okay. Uh, I end my well, turn. I'm not sure if we can even get anything from it. Nice going, Elephant Man. <laughs> it is dead. What more do you want? The materials. <laughs> the materials, dude. Noms. Uh, Nom stab. Oh no! Eleven misses. Do I channel divinity on this dude? <laughs> that where we're do, at. do I? Do I? No. You know what? You're probably gonna one shot him anyway. I'm just gonna end my turn. It's whatever. Top of the round, Garrick's. Yeah. Bonus action. I'm gonna move the hunter's mark onto him. Hog. Uh, and then fire another shot. Woo. <laughs> Pew! 19, 19 hits, hit. 5 points of damage. Let me do Hunter's Mark damage as well. There we go. And then bonus piercing damage from the bow. Another 5 points, very good. Yep. And then 4 on top of that. Uh, and with that shot, another Manticore dispatched, ending the encounter. Alright. Oh, nice. Oh. Were any of these our target? Nope, too small and not nearly stony enough. You guys would like so. to spend actions you are able to gather from these creatures. Heck yeah, I have my <gasps> block and tackle oh. for that reason, so we can string them up. Yeah, I, got, yeah. Uh, I, I could use my survival skills, so let's do it. All right. Uh, no check required for this one. I just need Ooh. to know, much like the uh, gathering spots that you have around here, uh, I need to know who is gathering from what. It looks like we've got Garrick's gathering from this one. I got correct? this one. Yep. All right. Noms, cool. you want the honor? Yeah. Go for Noms it. Noms starts starts gathering. All right. I like to imagine Winter Spear is like, and now you take the knife and you cut here. Like I'm gonna try and <laughs> like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Noms is like nodding, nodding. <laughs> okay. Each of you will receive a Manticore spike. Nice. <laughs> Once you look at that, we got our own trophies. Mine is bigger. <laughs> is it really? Noms is gonna Noms is gonna run over and start measuring with you. It is Fred, indeed Fred, bigger. Is it bigger. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Want a trade? Want a trade? I just make you look no. like an idiot. <laughs> Yours is clearly inferior. Oh, okay. I'll get the big one with our mark, though. Should we tell him that the big guy probably doesn't have the same kind of specs? <laughs> they will learn. Come on! What are you doing? Let's go! <laughs> does my tremor does sense pick up anything within the 60 feet? Uh, no, it does not. Okay. Assuming that all of this area that we're in is, is stone. Yeah. Uh, is there any, like, uh, can I do a perception for seeing if any direction that we should focus on? Uh, actually, give me one quick second. Okay. I just have to do a quick circle around. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so... You guys, I'm actually gonna roll initiative now. Buh. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> again? Yep. Because oh boy. more manticores. 
Well, ignore the corpses rolling for initiative. Six I guess. more manticores <laughs> pounce on you. And then the revive with the power of necromancy. <laughs> you <laughs> fool! Skeletor, um, you will. <laughs> uh, you will actually sense over here, close around Ooh. there. Can you ping it again? I missed it. Right down Bottom there. right. Uh, a sub a creature approaching. I see him. You. I kind of are... like hold. Up, I kind. I kind of hold out my hand to sort of stop uh, Tall from moving forward. Some what? Or something to our southeast. Good to know. And then he's gonna try to like. He's gonna like push past. <laughs> uh, well, if we are in initiative, so no moving, please. That's gotcha. it. Uh, so after being alerted. God damn, I'm slow. <laughs> yep. Hemlock. You have been alerted something is to your southeast. Uh, Masse, do I have your consent to pick up noms? Yep, you sure do. I'm gonna walk over, I'm gonna pick you up, like, just under the arms and lift you up like Simba. Oh! <laughs> and I was like, oh, Simba. 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 And I'm gonna move over here with noms in my... In tow? In tow, yeah. All right, that'll be your action. Uh, you pick up noms, you move with noms, and yeah. I'll kind of go to one knee and I'll be like, what's going on? And that will be turn. Okay. P picking up some stone vibrations to the southeast. Mm. Something's moving down there, possibly alive. Five, ten. Yeah, there's our mark. It seems to be slowly approaching around the corner. Starting to make its uh, starting to make its way toward us. We're getting to position for an ambush. Mm. Uh huh. Ambushes are for cowards. Well, if you got a better idea, you know what? I'll just go back to where I was. <laughs> let you take care of it from here, then. Noms. Oh dear. Uh, Noms is gonna. Well, first of all, Noms is gonna. Uh, shield of Faith himself. Mm, Just very, get that out of the way. Very good. Go ahead and cast it. Thank you. Um, shield of Faith, see. apply. Oh, you don't want to go all the way down there. <laughs> uh, hold on. Sorry, measuring. Oh, yeah, that's right. I do have 35 feet of movement now. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all. What if <laughs> hey. I just threw a stick at it? You know like what? It. Go for it. And like that'll it. slow it, right? Right? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, Noms, you know, Noms isn't even going to say anything. Noms is just going to uh, pitter-patter right down here. <clears throat> and throw <sighs> a javelin. All right, let's see it. Both, uh... Ooh. Ooh, the javelin flies by. Uh, go uh -oh. ahead and roll a 1d20 for me, please. Oh, no. See, that's more like it. Uh, it's good. You can recover it afterwards. Sweet. The nails fall out of Herzog's mouth as his mouth <laughs> is wide open, um, watching Noms just run by. But the creature <laughs> definitely notices, turns, lets out a... <laughs> and uh, immediately joins the fray of combat. So, All right. let's go ahead and do that real quick. I gotta roll some initiatives, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna refresh. Oh, wait, we got combat. Oh, it's working now. Good. I was about. To, I thought I was gonna have to refresh for a second. Um, okay. I'm roll initiative. That ignore the initiative roll there, because I gotta do the following. I gotta do. All right. So let's see what we got today. So you guys are facing off against the uh, Gray Basilisk. Uh, this uh, creature, <laughs> uh-oh, has five turns. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Uh, an execution phase at uh, turn 20. An action phase... Or sorry, uh, let me see if I can rephrase that. Uh, sorry, an attack phase on 15. A... Placeholder. 
On 10 is a movement phase. At five. Uh, placeholder. At five is another attack phase. Checking here. Very good. And then. Oh my god! And Holy crap. what the? And then at one is a debilitate phase. My action economy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will remove uh, oh this one. So, yeah. Please, looks... sir, may I have a turn? <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, looks, uh, that looks about right. Very cool. Uh, so, okay, still Noms' turn. Uh, we got this, guys. <laughs> yeah. um, Noms so, is going to look over his shoulder at the group. His <laughs> eyes are watery. <laughs> you guys, I missed... I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I have the perfect gift for this one second. I quit. I'm going home. And now I don't want to be here anymore. This, 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 this is like, this is the knobs equivalent to I threw up. <laughs> and now. I threw up. And now. This is knobs right now. Oh my god, that is so perfect. <laughs> like, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Oh my god. And now. <laughs> the battle. Oh boy. Okay. Well, it's nice knowing the little critter. Why am I always first, man? <laughs> well, technically, uh, Noms was first in this, in, this, in this initiative order uh, for this <laughs> turn. Okay. Get your needles ready. Uh, so, turning over. Uh, yeah, this thing immediately oh. on all four. Yes. We need to have Blorbo. Okay. Oh, yeah, Blorbo is. Uh, yeah. Blorbo, uh, Blorbo the by the way, goes on your turn uh, at the oh, end of your turn. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's different. Right. Just, it just makes it easier. Uh, Fair it, enough. It, it's universal minion rules for IO5e. Could mm. I have him as a thing I can move around? Uh, Yeah, I guess so. Give me one second, please. Yeah, no worries. Sorry. Uh, gotta find... Okay. Wahoo! Laughing knobs versus nuclear basilisk. <laughs> <laughs> Out of come ash coughing, baby. No. Coughing baby versus the gray basilisk. Versus bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All fours charging in. Oh boy. Okay, let's begin. So, ooh, this is gonna be a combination of things. Very good. Uh oh. Uh, moves up. Um and. Big uh, opens up its mouth wide. Hope this doesn't roll double damage. If it does, I gotta roll this as normal. And uh, yeah, looks like it's rolling double damage for some reason. Three plus one d six plus one d six plus three. Yeah, so we're gonna do. I'm just gonna say, does the eighteen hit? No. Okay. I'm just gonna roll normal and then figure out why it's doing that. Thank God for shield of faith. Yeah. Uh, yep. and, and then from there, it goes with this next turn. Uh, yeah. So you're going to watch as it takes the, uh, oh. Actually, I made an action for that. Very cool. Uh, yeah, you're going to watch as it disengages. It just continues to, continues its, uh, <laughs> run away from you. What? Uh -huh. Derek's. Better not go through that door, I swear to God. <laughs> Squeezes through. <laughs> Breaks out right. everything. I'm going to cast my second free Hunter's Mark that I get from Favorite Enemy, because I get two for long rest. Very good. So, concentrating, he's now Mark. Going to attack with the Spike Longbow as my action. 22 to hit for 9 damage. That does hit. 9 points of damage. Going to do 5 bonus damage due to the Spike Longbow. Hmm. And also going to expend one of my two uses of Dread Ambusher, Dreadful Strike to do an extra six damage. And then the uh, Hunter's Mark damage? Yep, yep, we gotta get that in as well. I'm rolling so many in. dice right now. Gotta the get Ranger, that otherwise known as the Nickel and Diamond class. Yeah. That's an extra one. All right, one point of damage. Very good. All right. 
And uh, yeah, I'm gonna move kind of over here. That'll be my turn. Mm -hmm. My end turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'll watch as you go in for the shots. It turns over and it continues its charge now over towards you. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> this thing's a very fast creature. All right. Yeah, this thing might have been a oh, mistake. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let's see here. Okay. Uh, ignore the damage, please. Does a 22 hit? Yeah, that hits. All right. That's yeah, ignore the damage, but like, man. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty scary, I know. All right. God, I wish I knew why it was doing that. That's going to slow things down. All right. I'm going to roll 1d8. Take everything it does and just cut it in half. Yeah, plus three. So, and then 1d4. So six slashing and four poison damage for a total of 10 points of damage. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, 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 oh, okay. I, I could have gotten it for you, bud. Uh, oh, okay. But you're good. If, if you want to take care of your hit points, that, that helps. Uh, tall. Yeah, I gotta make my concentration save too for. No, you don't. Okay, I, I don't for hunter's mark. Nope. You don't. Oh. You as a as a ranger, uh, you don't have to worry about hunter mark concentration. With, oh. with, with favored enemy. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't read that part. When you cast mm. it, you don't need to maintain concentration on this spell. That's an IO 5e. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that change for yeah. favored enemy. That's actually really cool. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, uh, 2024 D&D did turn to Hunter's Mark, but you still had to maintain concentration on it. I was like, yeah, nah. Yeah, so I just get the mark with no concentration. Correct. Uh, nice. Next up, Tall. Uh... Paul's going to slide down over here. And then I am going to uh, rage. And as I rage, I'll just be like, I will pin it down. Okay, so you're raging. And then I get bigger. Yep, give me one second, please. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to grapple him. Okay. He grapples him. <laughs> I have mounted the monster. <laughs> Je suis monté. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so let me go ahead and do a... Hmm. I'll do that. Okay, here we go. Uh, you try to grapple it, and it just breaks loose Damn. as you feel the spikes impact at you. Oof. Well, action bonus action, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> uh, all right. Mm -mm -mm. All yeah, right. He's got five phases and not even a bloody one. He's just all action. Yeah. Uh, it closes its eye a little bit, and then it opens uh, quickly. Um, as you see a terrifying gaze uh, try to take over anyone that can currently see it. But that's oh, no! <laughs> so, oh, that's here, so much worse than I thought. <laughs> here are your options. You can make a constitution saving throw, or you can avert your eyes. If you avert your eyes, you are considered blinded until the beginning of your next turn. Hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, I'll that's, avert. Oh, no. Up to you. Uh, so we got one one who will avert. Uh, what is... I mean, I'll avert. Yeah, what are the specifics of blinded? A blinded creature can't see auto and automatically fails any ability checks that require sight. Uh, attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. See, that's the part that I'm afraid mm, of, is the like you have advantage to hit me because I'm not looking at you. <laughs> Also, if you uh, if if you avert, uh, this is what happens. G Mart. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not great. <laughs> You're covering your eyes. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, what was the other thing? It was a con save. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I close my eyes. Okay. Uh, actually, let's go through the list. Garrix, will you be closing your eyes, or will you be? Taking the con No, save. man, I'll be fine, surely. Oh, okay. Does that sound like that sounds oh. like a con save to me? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. That's You're a good. nineteen. You're good. Okay. The petrification doesn't take shape. Hemlock. 
Will you be con saving or will you be averting your eyes? I will avert my eyes. All right, smart. Oh, why am I blinded? I averted my eyes. Yeah, you're blind. That's, that's what it does. <laughs> if, you avert, if you avert your eyes, you're blinded until the beginning of your next turn. Oh, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Noms. I avert. My turn's coming up anyway. All right. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's so scary. Uh, Hemlock, it is now the beginning of your turn, which means you're no longer blinded. Okay. I am going to, like a brave person. Oh, wait, that's actually so, so good brave. for you to go right after that turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could just look away and then instantly. I nod at side <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, something over. brushed past me. <laughs> I'll give you a little pat. <laughs> Dude, something big's near me. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. I thought I wouldn't be able to, like, fire off anything. Now it changes entirely of what mm -hmm. I was intending to do. Uh, let's go for... Hmm. I have an idea, but I'll save it for another turn. I'm gonna just gonna go for a simple Ray of Frost here. Okay. Go! Oh! Oh my god! That's a crit, baby! Nine That's points of damage. Crit, all right. Nice. Raid. That will end my turn, but I will move Glorbo. Okay. I'm gonna have Glorbo go into the air. I believe they have 30 feet of flight. Uh, their flight is 50. 50, okay, can I get visual for Glorbo? Uh, yes, you can. Can you see through right. Glorbo's eyes? I can if I choose to. Here. I just don't wanna lose them in the darkness. That's the only thing. Okay. So I'm gonna have them go like way over here. Oh, I see. Up so you're flying air. over that. Mm, okay, we're. I'm gonna have to move you up here because you can't fly in that area from a map's perspective. Okay. Okay. So no worries. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Good job, uh, Borbo. What happened? Are we winning? So 25 that... in the air, and then you'll uh, fly over there. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. And turn. Okay. Uh, during this phase, nothing happens. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, Herzog, mm. you are no longer blinded. Also, remember, if you have any uh, action or bonus action training, scanning is always an option. Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. All right. Uh, I have... Yeah, I would have done it last round, but I've been using all my stuff for ranger setup. I, I should have done it. My, I'm sorry, I forgot. You're good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my bait and switch ability with Cyfry. Mm. Let's see it. Uh, Cyfry and I switch places, and I could either take an AC bonus or uh, I can give him one equal to a oh. roll on my, uh, on my uh, superiority die. And I'll give it to him. Okay. Well, I think you should cool. take it, considering you're moving into melee. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> you've you've also taken damage, though. Uh, go That's ahead, true. Go ahead and roll a one d six for me, please. Is it already used your superiority die? All right. Oh, uh, my superiority dice is a one d eight. Oh, my apologies. Uh, roll a one d eight instead. Great. Uh, <laughs> <right. laughs> all the way. Mm, very Woo. cool. All right. So you gain three AC, Cypher. All right. And just, yeah, can I keep that in mind? Let's uh, until the start of your next turn? Until the start of my next turn, yeah. Okay. Um, of his next then turn. I'm going to use the, I'm going to use my bonus action. Uh, well, can I use my bonus action to scan or is it, yep. uh, do I have to use a full? Okay, yeah, I'll use my bonus action to scan. All right. Uh, which will you be scanning? Uh, it didn't do anything on the 20, which has me concerned. We I can mean, kind of... We can kind of it's gauge. attack, movement, attack, and then debilitate, which is the blind. Presumably the uh, other, yeah. Experienced. So I, uh, so I think I am going to go for the execution just so we know what, uh, what it is. Yeah, that's the scariest thing right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I smile. Give me an Arcana <laughs> check. Oh. Oh, Arcana. Oh. oh. Hey. 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 oh. All right. So let's oh, talk about that? the execution phase, and we gotta talk about the bloodied uh, version of the Great Basilisk. 
So, um, the execution phase only activates uh, while the creature is bloodied. Uh, also, um, it can only be used once. So once it is done, it won't be used again and will be removed from the turn count. The Gray Basilisk uh, will actually cast a new spell uh, called Gravity Rain. Uh, they, con they conjure petrified boulders and then fling them at combatants. Until the next execution phase, at the start of a creature's turn, the Gray Basilisk can cast Gravity Rain on that target at the beginning of the round. So when your turn begins during this execution phase, you get flung uh, with a uh, boulder. So that's everyone. Everyone gets hit with that as long as they're uh -huh. within range. Um, uh, in addition, the Gray Basilisk will actually skip their action phase. Oh, I'm sorry, the attack, uh, attack phase one, movement phase, and attack phase uh, two during this round while they're doing that but they still have access to the debilitate phase. So then, and then the next round, it just continues as normal without the execution phase. Hmm. Essentially, hey. it's a, it's like a, it's like a, a, a mechanic round where shit <laughs> starts going off and then it, then That's combat fine. resumes as normal? Question mark? You're gonna have to learn, you're gonna have to learn more though. <laughs> uh, a, a, almost like a wild smile appears on Herzog's face because like, this thing can make its own materials, huh? <laughs> um, also, another added thing with Gravity Rain, uh, it can choose a petrified target to fling at you, too. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it either chooses right, rocks, it, it, it either chooses uh, rocks it conjures up, or it just starts flinging around petrified targets. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna strike at it with the war pick. All right, let's see it. 13 to hit. Uh, 13 does hit. For 11 points right. of damage. 11 damage. Uh, and then that also, what did your war pick do? Is that? Oh, it was a uh, sap, sap, I believe. Uh, yeah. All right. So the next, I believe with sap, yeah, it's going to have a uh, disadvantage on its next attack. Excellent. Sorry, I had, uh, I, I've got dogs fighting behind me. No, you're <laughs> good. I, I can't even hear it. Uh, next up. Uh, Doms, you are no longer blinded. I can see! Okay, it, it hasn't changed that much since I was blinded, so... Uh, Noms will pitter-patter right up here. <coughs> and he's gonna take a swing. Uh, 14 hits, 10 points of damage, and oh, the creature shoot. is slowed. Ooh. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop a Wrathful Smite on that. Oh, sorry, it's a uh, Sap, uh, is the long sword. So, um, it's already sapped, so nothing's gonna happen there. You're doing a what? Yeah. Uh, uh, Wrathful Smite. All right, go ahead and cast it. As a friendly reminder to our audience, uh, Smites kind of work like, uh, Battle Masteries, or Battle Masters uh, Superiority. Leave it. Leave it, he says. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Failure. Woo! The creature Bye. becomes frightened. Noms puffs himself up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Step off. Step <laughs> off, you lizard. Yeah. It's so afraid of Noms. Yeah, Noms sticks it's his like arms the, up in the air like, trying to look big. That? Yeah, it's like, like when thing. big creatures get confused by little creatures. I was going to say, it's like a little mouse <laughs> going over to a big mice. dog, yeah. and the dog's just like, ah! What is that? What is that? Why is it moving like that? Um, okay, so it's going to uh, frantically try to attack Noms. Um, however, it will do so at disadvantage, and this will take up the sap. So give me one second. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong character shape. Waha. Herzog looks between the basilisk and knobs and goes, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, that's a 23 yeah. on a hit. It's a 23 hit, you knobs? Uh, yes, it does. All right, give me a sec. So it's going to deal seven points of piercing damage and um, wait, what the heck? Give me one second. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, it's not supposed to say that. Okay, and one point of poison damage. So eight damage total. And I need a concentration okay. check from you, please. Yeah. You're good to go. Woo! All right. 
and sap will be removed. Uh, following that, it will definitely withdraw by uh, disengaging and immediately clean. <laughs> Understandable. Oh, oh, also, sorry, uh, at the end of the attack phase, it makes a wisdom save to try to end the uh, Frightened. It fails. At the oh end of my the god! At, I, 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 at the oh. end of the movement phase, it once again tries to um, uh, save from the from the Frightened. It fails to do so. Uh, Garrick's your turn. All right. Uh, gonna move up here. <laughs> so just so you guys are aware, in phase combat, instead of legendary resistances, um, a creature can roll a save on an effect it had failed before to try and oh. prematurely end it. Mm, it. This makes it so that the creature has a fighting chance to end debilitating conditions without something that just says, and it doesn't work anymore. So, gotcha. And even, even if the effect doesn't give uh, the creature the ability to re-roll the save, the creature can still try to re-roll the save to end it. Um, so that's why... It's gonna continuously, after each of its turns, try and get out of that, essentially. Um, but yes, Garrix, it's your turn. All right, attacking with the spiked longbow. That's an 11. That misses. Oh, actually, no, roll again. Uh, it's, it's advantage, it's right. Oh, 18. Hey, that hits seven points of damage, please. All and right. Hit. And then Hunter's Mark on top of that, and bonus piercing damage. <laughs> Wow. Very, very good, very good points. You guys are yeah, just really good. Three points. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm saving the next dreadful stripe for when I crit. <laughs> right, makes sense. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna scan with my bonus. What would you like to scan? Um, let's scan the debilitate phase. All right. The uh, you need uh, Arcana, an Arcana check, and the DC is one. Oh my god! Oh my god! I oh my god. Guys, man. He threw you a bone. I'm <laughs> shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> he essentially, he essentially yeah. said, like, my boss says he said, that I I'll legally give have to, like, <laughs> yeah. we have to I check am, it for one, but, I'm like, nobody's gonna. Shaken. There's, right there's, <laughs> this, yeah, because there's magic? <laughs> oh my god! That I is have no wild. idea we could do anything. Uh, okay, Garrick's eyes go in two directions. Do you hear the dial-up connection sound? Uh, that's that's the short, ladies and gentlemen. That's well, the short. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. You're gonna get me a lot of subscribers. Uh, <laughs> I really appreciate yeah, that. That's good. That's good. Uh, no! Natural zero. <laughs> uh, that's yes. so unfortunate, dude. So in a Scared rush, uh, definitely gonna charge in. These are these attacks are going to be made at dis. Actually, no, wait, hold on. Did you do? <gasps> did you do Ray of uh, Frost last time, Hemlock? I did, yes. And that hit? And I believe it did. Yeah, oh. I crit. I crit. I got a crit. Oh, crit. You're right. You're right. So um, it's gonna try and. Yeah, it can't and reach it can't. me. It can't reach you. That's exactly it. Tall. It's um, slowly crawling over you in a in a in a fearful stance. Uh, Tal's going to open his eyes. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. The creature has blinded me. He's like, I've done it. I've grappled Wait. him, and he's just holding. Where noms. did he go? <laughs> <laughs> noms is there. You're holding noms. <laughs> With that nom smile, that damn smile. 30. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attempt to grab it again. All right. Uh, I'm going to go and roll a strength save. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Excuse that me. That's oh you. Failed. This is a grapple. That was a sudden sneeze. Um, what have we not scanned? Uh, I think we've only scanned the 15, the, the 10, and the 5 are the oh, ones no, that we no. haven't scanned. Oh, the one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're at the yeah. one. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've, all, we've, we've only the scanned one, the 20 so far. I'll take the one Arcana check. All right. <laughs> Uh, give me an Arcana check. DC one. Man. Damn, yeah, he's so good. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been so good if there was a double fail. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's it's really happened. good clip. It, it, it literally a double zero on a roulette table. Yeah. Um, okay, so the one is the debilitate phase. Uh, during this phase, 
Um, they cast... Let me give me one second real quick. Uh, they take the Petrifying Gaze action. And... Actually, I have to check my notes for this. Apologies. Okay, yeah, we're good. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, the debilitate uh, phase is just uh, Petrifying Gaze, so it'll continue to the petrify gaze um, on the initiative of one. Originally, I thought I had it do a gravity rain during bloody, but I just calculated the mm. numbers and that's not what it's going to do. So we're going to go. <laughs> Sorry, that was very uh, unsuspenseful. But yeah, so yeah, during one, it does its petrifying uh, gaze. Like I said before, um, you get to make a con save or avert your eyes. If you avert your eyes, you're blinded until the beginning of your next turn. Uh, the DC is 13 for that con save. Um, for the petrification, how it actually works, you begin turning into stone. So if you fail the save, you become restrained as your body begins slowly transforming to stone. You then have to repeat that saving throw at the end of your next turn. And if you succeed, you get out of the petrification. If you fail, you are petrified. Uh, you, you, you effectively become lesser petrified at that point and will need a copper needle or uh, lesser restoration to remove the effect. Hmm. Okay. I end my turn. All right, and now it does it live. Hey, who can see the creature? Looks like uh, everyone. All right, so we're going through the list again. Um, you'll watch as his eye flashes. Uh, Garrix, will you be averting your eyes or will you be making the con save? You know what? What's the worst that could happen? I'll close oh my, my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's what I like to hear. Wahoo. What's the worst that could happen? I close it for the last time? Uh, <laughs> Chal? Um. So if I close my eyes and I'm still grappled with it, like that's fine. That's I mean you're still holding on to it. Yeah, you're right. Just like I'm your not eyes. gonna like let go. Okay, cool. Yeah, I close yeah. my eyes. Okay. And then <laughs> you close your eyes and you just let go of the creature. He just disappears. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Herzog. Tom. Let's roll them bones. Nice. Oh, he rolled them bones. God damn. So you're good to go. Uh, Noms. Noms closes his eyes. Very good. That's too much risk. And uh, Herzog. I'm oh, sorry, Hemlock. Apologies. Hey. Herzog 2. <laughs> I will close my eyes as well. All right. Uh, with that. Herzog is so good. Why isn't there a Herzog 2? <laughs> with that you checkmate atheists Sorry. yeah you turn your yeah you turn your eyes briefly and then you uh can see again what would you like to do all right i am going to run okay <laughs> mm, actually pretty hard time can i can i fire through allies or is there a rule for cover in this uh, you, can, you can fire through allies that's fine Okay. In that case. I love you, safety wall. Oop. Move myself right there. It's still frightened, correct? Correct. Oh, wait, right, actually, then... hold on one second, because I forgot to do, to do the check. I got two checks to make. Fail. Fail. I'm rolling low on these frightened checks, I'll tell you that. Whew! Getting wood, some wood. distance out of that. One giant legendary lizard or one wet boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not right. flexes. I would are love you fucking to, kidding me? I'd love to throw a level one ice knife at this thing with advantage. Let's see it. Shift click, please. How do I roll with advantage? Shift click. Oh, shift click. Okay. Boom. Uh, boom. Oh, that all right, hey! yeah, that worked. Uh, that'll be a total oh. of yeah. very good. So you're doing four points of damage uh, with the piercing, and then got to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, I, let me check real quick. Woohoo! Yippee! Ability checks. I don't think saving throws count for ability checks. Uh, burr, 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 burr. yep. 
Excellent. All right. So, and then I will be doing a dexterity saving throw failing, which means oh my gosh. an additional 14 points. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Additional 10 points of cold damage. Checking That's what I call a winter spear. <laughs> hey. 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 Uh, we've got the debilitate. We got the execution phase. Uh, I will go with my bonus action, I will go for that 15 attack phase. Okay. So, what check do I need to make for a... Uh, which attack phase? The 15 or the 5? The, the 15. Uh, excellent. So, for that checking, you will have to do an investigation check. Oh, okay. Go brain. Natural oh. 20. I'll take it. Oh, hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Great Basilisk moves up to their movement speed and either takes the dodge, dash, or bite action. If bloodied, uh, the Great Basilisk takes the bite action, and then they can uh, make an additional bite attack to a different creature that is five feet adjacent to the Great Basilisk. All right. So when bloodied, the bite turns into a small AOE if they're if it can target if it can target two creatures. I will call out to my canyons. Watch out! Sometimes if it bites, it can attack another person at the same time. Uh, my beloved child, Blurbo. Yes. Uh, you said 50 feet of flight speed? Correct. I can't see. Can a Blurbo go there? I cannot see where that is. Flap, 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 flap. Good job, Blurbo. <laughs> <laughs> flap, 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 flap. <laughs> that will end all my turns. Very good. Uh, nothing happens during this phase. However, I will roll a saving throw. Failure. I'm rolling oh my shit. Wow. Hell oh, yeah. God. Which is good. Which is good. Herzog. I'm going to move all the way over. All the, all the way over. Oh, I got the ruler selected. <laughs> all the way over. All the way all the way, over. All the, all, all, the way. The way, all the way. There we go. Whoops. Too far. All the way over. All right. Um... I'll use my bonus action to scan the 10. Okay. Uh, that will be a, another investigation. Failure. Doing something. I don't know what, though. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just going to strike at it with the war pick. Uh, critical failure. Man, I'm off my game oh. today. <laughs> Not good. Noms. Noms blinks away oh, the blindness also, wait, and wait, rubs wait, his wait. little eyes. Wait, 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 wait. Never mind, he's still blinded. Uh, never mind. You can get to. Yeah, sorry. Uh, question, actually, wouldn't Herzog have advantage? Because uh, no. So you you actually here. don't get advantage on frightened targets. Oh. Oh. I, I wait. also I also thought you did, but nope, you don't. Oh. Oh, these boots coming in handy now. No, I bet. <laughs> Little pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. And then Noms is gonna stab it. Rush it. Uh, ten misses. I... Uh, no, it doesn't. I'm gonna channel divinity it. <laughs> Plus ten that. added, four points I don't of damage wanna... dealt. The creature is set. Yeah. Noms is like, power word, nah. uh No, not this time. Uh, okay, so channel divinity. Hold on. Mm -hmm. One sec. Sorry, I'm double checking. It, channel divinity is a special thing and not a bonus action, right? Correct. Okay, cool. So, uh... Yeah, I'll I'll investigate one of these things. What do we have left? Uh, you've got. I mean, I, uh, your party will have to tell you that. Good. Mm, Which one did we do? You scan the execution phase, debilitate phase. Uh. I think it's just. Yeah, and then yeah, the yeah, attack phase movement. fifteen. So movement phase and attack phase five are the two you haven't. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do attack phase five. 
Okay, attack phase five is going to be an investigation check with uh, attack, um, with, uh, yeah, uh, DC five. God, all right, Beautiful. you know, it's all right. <laughs> Beautiful. It's fine. Um, you know, Noms just isn't all Minus that good one. at investigating. Man. It's, it's cool. Say, hey, you could have rolled a zero, you know? Oh, hey. Okay. I could have. Uh, so, yeah, you've kind of got this creature, you know, holding onto it right now. It can't move anywhere. Uh, so it is going to take... Uh, oh, my God. I can hit anyone. Um, oh, yeah, I think it's going to try and attack... Oh, God. Would it, would it try and attack Noms? I'm just going to roll a 1d3. It's going to attack um, Tall. Cop. Um, and this will be a normal attack because you're blinded currently. Um, but I'm frightened. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to boop, boop, boop. We're going to remove the sap. This is going to be a normal attack. Here we go. Uh, this is going to be for the bite. Chomp. This is a, a nine. Yeah. My rolls are amazing. Oh, keep it up. I'm loving it. <laughs> My loss is your yeah. game. <laughs> I like at any moment things will go well for the basilisk. The and, oh ends. my god! Uh, and now laughing. during the movement we're still grappled, which means now I'm gonna try and end the grapple at the end of the movement phase. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! The grapple is ended. <laughs> I'd like to apologize Dude, you didn't have to, to the switch academy. To the weighted dice so quickly. Monty, how could you do this to us? I'm sorry, I was literally it's saying like, as you were it goes, saying. It goes right. We're still in trouble, so don't get used to it. And then <laughs> Destiny reached out its hand and slapped me in the face. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> Uh, well, hey, good news. It didn't attack me while my eyes were closed. That's nice, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna walk over here now and uh, shoot it with my longbow. Okay. That's a 19 to hit. Uh, that hits. Eight points of damage. Hunter's Mark damage. Bonus piercing damage. And you know what? Let's throw the dreadful strike in there too for a little oh, extra stuff. Oh, oh, oh. uh, how do you do? Uh, how do you do? Uh, how do you get him into bloodied? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the gray basilisk is now bloodied. <gasps> uh -oh. Ooh wee! Um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to drink a potion of healing. Odd. Oh, do it. You heal for I'm seven. I heal myself for seven. Let me apply that. Boop. Here we go. My turn done. <laughs> My turn done. All right. Ooh, bloody attack phase. Don't mind if I do. Oh boy. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Sweats. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna feel uh, tall as something uh, escapes your grasp. Ooh. This doesn't provoke opportunity attacks, by the way. Uh, that I can see. <laughs> Please tell me it's not just rushing for Garrix. Uh, yes. <laughs> but <laughs> able to get that close, we're going to do two claws against this happy little dwarf over here. Oh, no. Seven doesn't hit. That misses. 15. And that misses. All right. Very good. So you're going to watch the two claws slash down, and you're able to defend it with ease. Call. Oh. Uh, you are uh, no I longer. My eyes. Yeah, you opened your eyes. Unless you don't want to. Ugh. How does he keep getting away from me? You keep closing your eyes. <laughs> I have to. If I look, I die. Every time you, <laughs> every time you close your eyes, you just let go of them. I don't understand. <laughs> it's, it's just a weird reflex you have. Uh, I walk back up. I grab him again. Okay. Oh shit. Oh wait, no, that's me. I do this. Yeah, that's I you. Do the that's you, sir. Fucking stop! <laughs> oh my god! Um. I, okay, and it's then gonna I will, be my kind of rounds. <laughs> I will scan oh, the. Weird. What do we have left? Movement. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What was that check? Investigation DC ten. Oh, that's not something I'm good at. <laughs> wow. Oh, this hurts. is. <laughs> Yikes. Terrified. <laughs> and my turn. All right. Uh, its eyes open up in a petrifying gaze. Who will be averting their eye? 
Okay, who here is not averting their eyes? <laughs> Save me. I'm not averting my eyes. Okay, con save, please. Oh, you're good. Everyone else is averting their eyes. I'm, I'm gonna do the con save just because I think he's gonna come over here. Okay. I don't want him to have advantage if he catches up to me. Oh, it's 11. Uh, oh. You are restrained as you slowly oh. begin to petrify. Uh oh, well, it's worse. <laughs> uh -oh. Just close your eyes. <laughs> Uh, everyone else will be closing their eyes. I'm not. I just, I, I succeeded. Oh, apolog apologies, apologies, <laughs> apologies. You know, oddly enough, this isn't the isn't the first time I've had a ranger character turn to stone. <laughs> you gotta stop that. Yeah. Petrification is is no joke. Hemlock. Hi. Uh, let's see. For my funny position... Oh man, there's so many options right now. Let's do a level 2 magic missile. Why not? Alright, let's see it. Four times. Second level. Boom. Ooh, Ooh that's, a tw that's 20 oh. points of damage. You see these, these force darts just fling out of Hemlock and... <laughs> Just impact, 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 impact. And you'll see the thing just oh, like it's being hit with a chain gun right now. You hit with a Tommy gun. And then for my bonus action, I would like to scan the movement face. All right. Investigation, please. Go, brain. 50. Very good. Uh, during uh, While the uh, Great Basilisk is not a buddy, a bloodied, uh, they take the. Hold on, let me read this real quick. I can actually read the actual notes now. Got so many. Where did it go? One moment, please. This won't take as long. Uh, ah, very good. Um, so um, the creature essentially um, during the movement phase takes the disengage action and then moves up to their movement speed while they're not bloodied. While they are bloodied, um, they just move up to their movement speed, uh, this without withdrawing. However, any creature they pass by, uh, they get a free claw attack against them. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh, okay. we love that. Jesus. Smile. Okay. All right. I will call out to my companions with my free action and say, when it moves, it will swipe at you. Be careful. And then I am going to move like a coward. As you should. Let me just position myself just over here. Blorbo, Blorbo! is going to stay in the air and is just going to hover over here in the air. It's Blorbo! And... Oh! <laughs> My horrible little scruggly animal. Here we go. <clears throat> Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, you'll watch as this thing <laughs> begins to uh, channel uh, a bit of uh, mystical magic. And uh, yeah, you'll watch as it begins conjuring up all of these stones as tiles and sections of the ground begin lifting up, being thrown at each and every one of you. So we're gonna first start with uh, we're gonna first start with Herzog. So Herzog. Ba, ba, ba. Where is that? Oh, whoops! I was hiding that for some reason. Okay, here we go. Um, all right. A stone will fly up and then fling over at you, Herzog. Herzog, I need a dexterity saving throw, please. Success. Oh. You'll only take six points of bludgeoning damage. As the as you'll dodge out of the way and a little bit of the rock will still clip you. It's your turn, Herzog. Is he is he muted? He sure as heck is. I am, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's some sturdy stone right there. Even when it hurts you, you love it. <laughs> gonna move over a little bit this way just to kind of block off his path a little bit more because mm -hmm. he because he was trying to get to Garrick's and he couldn't right yeah okay 
Actually, maybe right here would be better. Um. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go all in on this. Let's do um. Let's do the trip attack with uh with my uh with my war pick. Okay. So war pick. Trip attack. Oh, by the way, um. Oh, it missed. Yeah, give me give me one quick second. So you uh, by the way, you get to do a free five foot movement. What do you uh, mean? Since you since you're dodging out of the rock, you get a free five foot movement because the rock is actually gonna occupy that space now. But so this is where I was when. Yep, you get a free would, five okay, foot so, movement. Yep. So right there. Yeah. There it is. Uh, uh, give me one quick second. That was a big time miss. <laughs> Uh, what can I say? I like to... Um, yes. Um, I just need... A quick moment. Ah, uh, there we go. I'm going to do this one. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Whoop, whoop, put that rock there. I'm taking some of that home. Yeah. Uh, let me refresh here, because for some reason, I'm not... Ah, that's what happened. Okay, give me one quick second, guys. Okay. Of course. I'm dealing. I still love the. I love the visual of Herzog getting hit by the rock and the rock landing. And Herzog being like, "Oh, this is granite. Isn't this, this good nice?" Rock. Just like bleeding, <laughs> and it's just like, yeah. "Oh my god." So make a great countertop. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you kidding me? Stone like this of this quality? You don't find this just anywhere. Uh, apparently, Forge decided to um, log me out. Of the player nice view. Of it. It, was, oh, uh -oh. it was very nice of it. I really appreciated it. Very considerate. Yeah, so I got to reload. So we can see everything, because I'm not seeing any of the effects on the screen. I and, see them. They're very cool. But chat needs to see them. <laughs> That's true. Chat needs well, to... Now, now the, chat knows that it's cool. Oh, I can't... Chat, it's... A, Cat, it's insane. It's the craziest thing you've ever seen. So cool. And yet, I still can't show off the light. That's okay. On the on the player view, for some reason, but that is okay as long as we've got that the token there that signifies that. Okay. Anyways, uh, so you missed Herzog, correct? Uh, yes, but I'm gonna action surge. Very good. Let's see it. <laughs> uh. Second verse, same as the first. I'm going to attack it once again with the war pick and attempt to trip attack it. Nice. Uh, 15 hits, five points of damage. You sap it. And then an extra seven points of damage with the trip attack. Give me one second. Need to make a uh, saving throw. Failure. Oh my God. Creature falls prone. Nice. Big. The words of my friend Evie. Huge. Huge. <laughs> Huge? <laughs> Massive. And then what are you doing now, Herzog? Oh, frick a frack. I keep forgetting. <laughs> uh, Noms, before the uh, beginning of your turn. Sobs. And I also need to check to see if you have. <laughs> That okay. Sweats. That would be, done. Would be dirty. Uh, Sweats. But I won't do that. Um, oh. So the rock will fly at you. Um, if I'm going, I was going to say you kind of need to see where the rock's flying at you for you to dodge it. <laughs> otherwise, it automatically fail. <laughs> but instead, I will say you f you f you feel something being thrown at you. So go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw at a disadvantage, please. The air okay. pressure feels different. Oh no! I almost did you so dirty. Oh. No. All right. Uh, Eleven points of bludgeoning damage as you feel a giant rock. Oh my yeah. god! No! It'll knock you. It'll knock you back. You're good to go there, and another rock over here. <laughs> hey, 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 now, don't go bleeding on that prime material there. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Uh, really? 
<laughs> it landed in my stomach. Your it's, it's good building rocks. <laughs> rub, rub some dirt in it. It'll be fine. Your uh, your eyes like instinctively open up. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah. Noms is immediately going to uh, lay on hands himself. Oh, bonus action. <laughs> yep, sure is. How much will you like to uh, heal? Okay, I have 15. Uh, you can use all of that, and you still I won't could, be at full health. I could. Well, I want to save Fuck. some for emergencies, so You're uh, I'll do 10. You're bleeding to death right now. That doesn't make I know, sense. I know I'm bleeding. To, yeah, if someone like falls unconscious, Noms wants to be able to bring them back, so we'll, we'll, we'll save a little bit. All right. N Nom's mad. Nom's upset. Uh-uh. You're gonna have to move around those rocks. What? What rocks? Rock. Oh, Rock. I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. There's something going on with the uh, with the server. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. So uh, I can go there. Yes, you can. <sighs> Nom's yeah, goes I there. I have to relog in as well. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah, everyone I just got kicked out. Yeah, that's why I might need a refresh. Refreshing. That's okay. We're, I think I'm okay. I think everyone's <laughs> I'm all fine. right. Uh, he's gonna stab. You get to do this at advantage, oh please. God. Oh, okay. There we go. Can uh, I? Oh, uh, thank I, you. I already took care of it. Yep. Uh, six points of damage as you stab. Reach is already sapped, and... so it doesn't get a second sap. Raffle smite. Oh. He does it again. Oh, fucker. He wants to be. He wants to be afraid. He wants this thing to be afraid of him so bad. <laughs> and so he is. I oh still don't. God. What? How do? How the fuck do you? That's what you get. Fear me, there. All right. Um. <laughs> nothing happens this round. He's actually. These rounds are skipped because of the execution phase. Garrix. All right. Uh, I'm currently restrained. How do we get out of this? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you see, uh, at the... You are dying. Uh, let's see here. At the end of your turn, you'll get to make another save. If you succeed, you break the restraint. If you fail, mm. you're petrified. I assume I can forgo that by using the copper needle? Uh, yeah. If you want to go ahead and do that, it'll undo the re restraint, and you won't have to worry about the petrification. And that's an action, I assume, to uh, use bonus it? action to use a consumable bonus action. Ooh. Ooh. Well, then, in that case, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I stab. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you'll watch as, with a bonus action, the rocks will fall off of you at that point, and you are no longer at risk of petrification. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm stuck me over here. Uh, but before that, I'm afraid I do um, have to do something, and I think... <laughs> You, uh, ah, it's a disadvantage. Excellent. Uh, go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw as a rock gets flung by you. This will be a disadvantage. Uh, because it's the beginning of your turn. Very good. This is at the beginning of your turn. A rock flies over at you, deals 11 points of damage, pushes, uh, Yo. pushes you back, and then you stab, and then you're, you're good to go, and then rock. All right. Uh, so I'll go over here then. Sounds good. And I'll use my action to shoot. Very good. That's a nine. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll that uh, actually. Yeah, that's good. Nine. Yep. Miss. No way. That, well, huh. okay, misses. Okay. <laughs> that's, okay. No, I, was, I, I was. You were gonna... <laughs> I was checking to see if you had advantage, but frightened doesn't give you advantage. Prone doesn't give you advantage. You're like, so we're you're like, go. yep, yep, okay, and that's a miss. That's a miss. <laughs> I was, I was, yeah, I was just checking to see if you've got uh, advantage or not. You don't. All right, end turn. Uh, we skip that turn. Tall, uh, at, please eyes. roll a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage. All right. Um, Failure. At disadvantage. <laughs> uh, good news Wait, is you're raging, hell? so you only take six points of damage oh, as okay. you're going to be pushed back. Uh, this way, as the rock kind of pelts you over. God damn it. Actually, you know what? <laughs> uh huh. I mean, it's prone and scared, it's gonna try and keep you away. <laughs> Can I, like, 
reach over the rock. I think I have a reach of plus five feet now. Oh, uh, because of the, the giants? The giant. Uh, so. Yes, yes, you can reach over the rock. Okay, easy peasy. Uh, I'm going to just try to punch him. All right. <laughs> 11. <laughs> I think you roll at advantage because it's prone. Uh, yeah. Yes, because 13. of melee, correct. 13 hits, six points of damage. That's something. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna... Where is... Garrix is on the way. <laughs> I was like, how can I like yeah. help body block? No, I'm um, gone, dude. <laughs> Now, I can reach it. Can it reach me right now? Like, would I provoke op if I moved? I shrug. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not moving. <laughs> uh, you don't know what hey. its reach is. Listen, you got this over, uh, man. There. While it's on its back, its eye opens. Uh, so... Um... Yep, that's everyone again. Who Nothing is... Nothing ventured! Okay. Uh, roll con saves if you are wanting to make the saving throw against being petrified. Otherwise, I'll be blinding you. I think I'm far oh. enough away. I'm right up in his business. Okay. Sounds like everyone's going blind then. Yeah, I'm going blind. Understood. Here we go. Woohoo! And then at the end of this round, uh, I think we're going to. Can I move during this? I can't. Okay, so during this round, I'm definitely going to make the saving throw. Nope. Still frightened. And still prone because there's no movement. Oh, man. And block. Dexterity saving throw at disadvantage as you turn away and a rock goes flying at you. Oh, that's right. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, those are still coming. Sturdy <laughs> saving throw. And then oh, roll, sorry. And then roll. No, you're good. Go ahead and roll again. I'll just roll again. Uh, give me one second here. I just want to check out oh, an ability I have. Sure, you let me know. Uh, <laughs> I have arcane deflection. Uh, when I use this feature, oh, if I'm hit by attack or if I fail a saving throw, I can use a reaction to gain a plus four to the saving throw if I fail. Okay. Uh, would you like to use that? Yeah, uh, oh. I'll turn that five into a nine. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's called arcane what? Oh, deflection. It's called arcane deflection. Yeah. Where do you get this from? It's from I'm a war mage. So. Uh, gotcha. Good to know. Very yeah. good. So yeah, uh, still fails. Uh, so okay, you will right. be taking. I didn't know if it was like something. Oh yeah, you can't cast uh, spe uh, spells other than cantrips at the end of your. Oh, that's fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, thirteen points of damage. Also fun. Uh, as a giant rock slaps you across oh! the face. <laughs> I turn to dust. I am a wizard. <laughs> I'm just joking, <laughs> I'm still alive, but. Yep. Uh. And, but you're no longer blinded. That's fun. Hey, keep your chin up, Hemlock. Hemlock. Oh. Also, oh! You push back <laughs> and Crumple. rock. Uh, is Hemlock okay? Is Hemlock okay? Oh, I'm gonna stand to my feet. I can't kind of see. Swing. Are they all right? Oh, no. You will I'm not gonna... be able to move through the rock. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're good. Right, there's a rock now. <laughs> 15, 20, 20. Can only uh, use a cad trip, so I'm gonna hit him with a ray of frost. <laughs> Second verse, same as the first, baby. Wow, okay. 22 for 8 damage. Eight and the speed is reduced by 10. That's the more yep. important part. <laughs> Stacking them debuffs. Uh, and I'm going to hide behind the rock. <laughs> Five. <laughs> eh, right there. Sounds good. Uh, Blorbo is going to just take... I don't even think he can take the dodge action. It's more was just gonna hang out in the sky. Very good. All right, and that is that is turn. <laughs> hey, he did great. All right, I did good. That ends the execution phase. Gonna try and save from the the fear. I believe that's a success, right? Gets your DC. Uh... Your DC is thirteen. Yep, that's a success. Uh oh, oh man. This ain't good. Still prone. <laughs> That's good. I haven't had any movement yet. Herzog. 
All right, just gonna try and keep kicking the shit out of it with my war pick. <laughs> uh, shift click, please. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, good. Also, the sap is gone. Oh! Oh! Oh, and the sap is oh. back. Uh, eight points of damage. And are uh, you thinking about it? Yeah, I'm that, uh, that is crit. That the uh, the what, the superiority dice is also crit if you roll it. I can I tri can I trip attack him again while he's already prone? You can, yeah, hell yeah. All right, let's do it. Why not? Extra prone. <laughs> That's some prime bullying. <laughs> All right, and then I will crit roll that for eleven points of damage. The creature is nearing defeat. You guys are bullying able. the shit out of this guy. I mean, he's wouldn't even able to run away. Him. Well, I mean, he's prone. <laughs> yeah, but he's just choosing to lay there. <laughs> he's just a tired little baby boy. He's slowly trying to get up, and you guys are dogpiling <laughs> him right now. Hold him down. Hold him down. Uh, Noms. I open my eyes. Huh. All right. Noms. Uh, you know what? Actually, Noms is gonna channel divinity uh, one more time, but this time conquering presence. As an action. Fear me! <laughs> oh my god. Fear me! Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. my god! He, he is afraid, frightened. Nom stands tall, kind of, over his <laughs> prone form. Uh, that and would stabs have, him. Uh, as an, oh, this is an action. Okay. So this would actually have been a... One moment, please. Uh, oh, I thought Channel Divinity was uh, just a special thing, right? Uh, so, I thought. Yeah, well, it says special, but yeah. No, it's, it's I, I'm turning into a bonus action. You're good. Okay. Oh, actually, ooh, fear? Mmm, sorry. Thinking. Yeah, whatever. Uh, bonus. We'll, we'll bonus action and play test that. So, yep. Uh, you can attack Lucky. now. I attack, and I advantage it. Yes, you do. Uh, six points of damage. Hmm. Anything else you'd like to do? Oh, he's close. Um, close. gosh, dang. Uh, oh, man, I sure wish you can't do. I see. I yeah, I literally have burned everything that I have. So <laughs> Noms is just gonna, you know, uh, do a teeny tiny little flex over him. Okay. Yeah, I'm running on fumes Hem myself. Hemlock has like a cell phone out and is filming. He's going, "You're doing great, sweetie." <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. We are ending the prone condition. Oh no. Uh, Finally getting up, huh? Gets back up. Uh, is going to, uh, with their sap attack, uh, gonna go ahead and bite at, uh, at Dom's, a source of fear. <laughs> Try it. 19. Ooh. Oh. Wait. Do. Wait, I still have Shield of Faith on. What's your AC? 21. Then it doesn't hit. <laughs> mm. I, I, nice. I wasn't sure if it ran out earlier, and I was like, wait a second, do I still have it? And no. I looked. I'm just, I'm just, let, I'm just letting you know I rolled a 19. Uh, so, <laughs> Thank you. Yep, so that will miss. And then at the end of the round, we're going to be doing another wisdom save to try and end the fear, and we do so. Ah. I am uh, from a DM. I really do like the end of phase uh saving throws because i actually feel like there's been some good exchanges for me but also some good exchanges for you guys so it's been mm -hmm. it's been nice yeah it's a lot it feels a lot more balanced and also feels just way more earned you know it feels yeah, like yeah, a tug yeah. of war which i kind of like yep same all right mm -hmm. and now uh time for the movement phase oh, oh dear no, uh yeah uh i'm gonna be a little psychopath uh <laughs> here we go Run, 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 run. I uh, cannot see what is he doing. Remember, it's negative 10. He's running. And he's he, running towards, oh, sorry. Run toward Garrick's uh, classic. The run over here. Uh, <gasps> and he's doing claw to Herzog. This does not provoke an op. Uh, uh, by the way, this uh, does provoke opportunity attacks. Mm. All right. Oh. I cannot see. I do not know. It does. Hmm. Are you uh, uh, that, that misses like first that. off, and I, I am going to use my reaction to, uh, to hit him. That's it. 
19 for four damage. Uh, that hits four points of damage. Oh, <gasps> I hate everything. Man, hate to say about it. that. Anyway, just... he's got he's got a bee's dick of health. This uh, is 20 <laughs> does not hit uh, does not hit Noms, but I would does the ninth wait does the no nope, that's a 12 that also missed Herzog. So those attacks Me up. failed. That's as far as he goes. Eric's, you open your eyes. I'm gonna open my eyes. A light breeze <laughs> oh. would kill him. He's coming right for me. He's like, Rah! he's flopping <laughs> over, running towards you. Pew. Pew. How do you dispatch of the beast? Uh, yeah, I mean, just put an arrow right in his eye, that glowing blue eye he has. All right. And with that, the gray basilisk has been defeated we right. are at, we are at time so we will have uh, to save loot uh for next time however i will let you know um the recipes welcome. you're gonna learn from this creature <gasps> recipe we've got planning we've got grayscale armor uh which makes you immune to the petrification the lesser pet uh sorry that's gonna be rephrased uh, great basilisk protection. So if you're wearing this armor, you get you're immune to lesser petrification. So that just doesn't happen. Just just mm. period. If you are wearing gotcha. this armor, um, it also counts as plus one armor. So that's always fun. Uh, stalagmite weapon uh, gives you uh, the weapon mastery of slow. Uh, also, um, you don't need the weapon mastery feature to use this. It automatically mm. gives. So e that means the wizard can use weapon mastery oh. of this weapon and uh whatever you attach it to it automatically gains the weapon mastery of slow um, which means if you attach it to a weapon for example if you were attached to herzog's um war pick um it gets sap and slow which means herzog would have to choose which weapon mastery Supply. they want to use interesting yeah that's uh. cool um it's also it also turns you up into a plus one weapon uh basilisk ire potion you create four of these it grants you resistance to poison Grants you advantage on all saving throws, the petrification condition, or lesser petrification condition, and then lasts until you complete a long rest. So um, these buff potions more than likely will give you um, a full day's buff. So very helpful for that. And then finally, the rare is the Eye of the Basilisk, assuming you get the, the Great Basilisk Eye. Um, it allows you to detect poison and... Um, so essentially you are able to locate sources of poison um and creature and poisonous creatures um mm. you also identify the kind of poison and the poisonous creatures so if a creature has the ability to poison you uh while you are wearing this amulet you will be able to detect where the creature is what the creature is and how it poisons you just by having mm. this on uh, you also gain the gravity rain spell uh, that the Great Basilisk was doing against you three times per day as a long rest. You can cast gravity rain from this amulet. It effectively is scorching ray, um, but the damage is bludgeoning instead of fire. So you essentially fling out three rocks. Um, and since it is scorching ray. Um, oh, and also it's a plus. I have to check the attack bonus because it's a flat attack bonus. Um, I believe it's a plus four, but I have to double check on that. And then finally... Lesser restoration three times a day, which is pretty fucking cool. That's super good. Yeah. So uh, as a player, I know this the, the eye of the basilisk isn't great for Herzog. Herzog really <laughs> wants the eye of the basilisk. <laughs> <laughs> you um, have to fight me for it. I love that too. Yeah. So uh, we will roll for loot um, next time. But, oh. but as you will return, as a little sneak peek, as you return to base. Um, the um, quote unquote executioner problem has gotten worse uh, with, oh, a no. with an infestation of, of executioner nests. What they mean by executioners, you will discover axe speak executioners uh, will be <laughs> the prime mark that you have to face off to get your rank up. And this is a boss creature. So we'll actually be using boss CR for this. So they're going to actually be going to have more health. And the elite creatures you've been facing you deal more damage than the creatures you'll you will be facing. And uh it's gonna be a it's gonna be a it's gonna be a dangerous time. I'm gonna be real with you. It's uh, this oh, this creature is capable of a lot, and you'll have to find that out on the next episode of Fiendish Forge Hunters. Thank you guys so much for playing. Good uh good hunt, yeah. everyone.
Yeah. Thank you for running. Yeah. It was a lot Thanks of fun. For running it, yeah. Before we wrap up, though, Bingo Duck has been busy. Ooh. So, HB, it's time. Let me go ahead and share the screen with you guys. Bingo, bango, bongo. Well, that's definitely not the site. Uh, this one? Hey, that one. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and share the screen with you guys. Woohoo! Oh, oh, oh. Yippee! Screen is being shared. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we do, shall we? Uh, minions not gathered after <laughs> defeat. Uh, I, ga I gave that to you guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no one gets downed. Crafting RP. Nice. Um, well, I think we got some with Monty as mm -hmm, well with the mm -hmm. herbalism kit. Um, we've got the kitchen is open. So sorry. No. Oh, sobs. Uh, definitely at that one. Yeah, definitely Several. At one. Yeah. yeah. Team banter. I think there's been some little bit of light banter here and there. I you always bam. win when DMing <laughs> you guys. That's my secret. It's a free space. Yay. Uh, fragile items do not, uh, no fragile item was broken. Uh, there wasn't some nat 20s. Party hey, rolls. You got hella nat 20s. Uh, party rolls, uh, best material. We don't know that, so sorry. Not yet. The party forgets to scan any of the phases. Jesus uh, Christ. I did. We almost I did. did. You know I what? did that. I will check that because you did say you forgot. Uh, <laughs> Nom's gremlin moment. Just, I think, eh. existing. In general. That should be the Hi. middle. <laughs> were all the phases scanned? Yeah. I think I they don't think were. We, Wait, do we, we, I was kind no. of away. Did we scan the movement one? We did. Yes. Yes. We did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think we got the them all. Five yeah. I think we got all of them. Did we get the five? I feel like yeah, we, we did. I didn't write yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, we got the five. Okay. The five was just yeah, so we got all of them. Days. Yeah, and the movement was the move and claw kind of deal, so very good. Mm -hmm. And then the DM loses. You know what? I'm going to check Always. yes, because I was rolling shit on those right and saves. <laughs> 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 you you a little bit there, yeah. a Bingo well bingo! earned. All right. Oh. Party gets surprised by a monster. Well, I think you. Yep. You. No, I don't oh. think we, su we surprised. Well, we didn't get a surprise no. round, but like the, uh, but yeah. we weren't expecting the manta course we to come aware in. That's of for it sure. Before... Mm. Oh, that's true. By a that's monster. True. You're right. You're right. Uh, more food RP. Yep. Complaining about the kitchen part of monsters get broken. No. Shopping. I mean, yeah, we, we got broken. Oh yeah, we didn't target anything. We did do some shopping. Oh, yeah, shopping no, RP. Uh, this really forges my feet. <laughs> 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 I feel like this was a stretch of a space, but <laughs> god damn, that's good. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I'm definitely using it. <laughs> that's really forges my fiends. Uh, this really forges my fiends. Um, that is a Herzog statement, if I've ever heard one. I'm going to check this off because I think there was several times that you guys would say a thing and go, it's sci-fi. It's sci-fi. No, it was, it was <laughs> every time. Closing my eyes right in front of the I'm monster. I'm sure this won't be a problem. Yeah. Which, which means two bingos, guys. Whoa, I see a round. third on the way, too, because wow. team name decided. <laughs> Dom gets uppies. Nom, yep. tri uh, did, Nom tries to eat you up. a part of monster. Noms did not do that. And Noms does not eat something. Oh, Nom yeah, they Noms tried to eat the, uh, yeah. yeah. I'll give it that. Noms licked, but did not eat. But I will eat yeah. and give it that. That was close. This was a close one. This was Damn, a big bingo. That's a full bingo card. We got, a, we, got, we got some fucking bingos in here. Well, guys. So many bingos. Next week is the big week. So I will. Big fight. I will. Uh, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Heck yeah. All right. Very exciting. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.